Dear viewers, thank you for choosing Manwa Compilation Channel. Enjoy watching. In a stony land where nothing had grown for decades, only dried trees stood. Lightning struck. Just a bit more, and a fire would have ignited, but a downpour quenched it. Lying under the raging sky's arch with outstretched arms was Lu Chen. He was not like everyone else. In his previous life, he had been in an accident, killing the driver. Misfortune had been his constant companion, as in another time. His parents had also perished. The villagers cursed him because a drought had persisted for several years since his birth. As a student, he had embroiled his companions in trouble. Run! You're the clan's genius! We will definitely protect you! These were his friend's last words. Now, it was finally his turn. He opened his eyes, feeling absolutely nothing. The rain struck his face, and the wind tangled his hair. The weather continued to rage, as if blaming him for all the troubles. I'm going to die, he thought. System notification. You have died. On the floating island of the Eight Clans, the weather was simply perfect. Neither wind nor scorching sun could disturb the tranquility of nature. Cranes circled around the Temple of Wan. A small group of people were headed towards the building. Ah, you're finally back. We were so close to disaster this time, one of the guys said, inhaling the pure air deeply. Yes, but we made it through thanks to our brother, Lu. Another voice carried gratitude. Brother Lu, Fanjir, a 17-year-old 7th level cultivator and member of the clan, leaped towards one of the youths. Her pink dress complimented her face beautifully. Sister Fan, where did you come from? Lu Chen, an 18-year-old 7th level cultivator, was clearly not expecting to see his friend here. We all missed you so much. Without slowing down, she jumped on Lu, hugging him tightly. The surrounding guys were clearly a bit embarrassed but tried not to show it. As soon as Fan released him from her embrace, he asked, Sister Fan, what about the master? The founder is waiting for you in the main hall of the Temple of Wan, and my master is there too. Thank you, Lu ran joyfully into the temple. First let me tell you about our main character. As I mentioned, his name is Lu Chen, and he's an unlucky time traveler. After his death, he arrived on the floating island and became a being unworthy of others' attention. According to Buddhism, Living beings belong to a group of living entities subject to illusion, creation, and rebirth, known as samsara. At the age of 12 he became an orphan, but last year he became a personal disciple of the founder of the Temple of Wan. That's when he began training to achieve immortality. Taking his determination seriously, he transformed from an unremarkable boy into a highly respected man. He believed that he must become the strongest to control his destiny and protect those close to him. With folded hands and a greeting, he turned to Zhou Linyan, the founder of the Temple of Wan, a ninth-level master, and the people around him. Hello, master. Hello, elders. Lu Chen. This time you led the team admirably. The founder was pleased with his work. I've already reached the seventh level, all thanks to your diligent training, Lu replied, honoring his master. From the side, there were murmurs of astonishment and admiration. Eighteen years old and already a seventh-level cultivator? He's one of the young geniuses of the floating island, but he's still far from Fan Shuir, not to mention Sinyu. Mu Junkui, a temple elder and a third-level master, observed closely, his gaze critical. Standing behind Lu, with an air of disdain, was Xiao Sinyu, a ninth-level clan genius, nineteen years old, and Lu's rival. Goodness, not only had they pointed out his flaws, but they had done it in front of everyone. However, Zhou continued with praise. Lu Chen's essence is unique. His abilities are extraordinary. You shouldn't undermine the master's trust. He was referring to himself. I'm listening, Lu replied, though he wasn't sure what made him unique. But Zhou wasn't finished. He stood up, facing Lu directly as if ignoring everyone else. Lu Chen. Now that you've returned safely, we can move on to arranging the funeral. Although the elders had remained nearly motionless, the founder's decision shocked Lu. Master, is it really? Master, is it you? I want to ascend to the heavens, confirmed the founder. The elders' suspicions were correct. On the floating island, monks achieve full awakening through Mahayana, the great vehicle of Buddhist practice. By following this path, Buddhists strive to attain enlightenment for the benefit of all living beings and then heavenly lightning may strike. If the lightning strike is successful, 
the monk may attain immortality. However, it's said that due to the island's weather changes, heavenly lightning hasn't descended for 3,000 years. It's also uncertain how much time the founder has left to attain enlightenment. Don't worry, I will naturally achieve enlightenment, Lu Linyan reassured. You know my techniques. I plan to outwit the ancient immortals with my deceitful techniques. So the master may summon heavenly lightning. I will become the first immortal on the floating island in 3,000 years. The Temple of Wan and the floating island will enter a new era of prosperity. Zhou was absolutely confident of his success, but Chung Kui wasn't as certain. Although he didn't show it, there was still a small seed of doubt in his soul. Lu Chen, we'll meet tomorrow at the Dragon Hour, somewhere between 7 and 9 a.m. The founder extended his hand with a yellow energy flow towards Lu. After a moment of puzzlement, Lu's expression changed from what's happening to why him. He held the founder's token in his hands. Fan Shuir whispered in excitement, the founder is passing on his legacy to brother Lu. Lu pressed the token to his heart and obediently thanked the master. I understand. Joe concluded the conversation. Now go. Meanwhile, on the temple porch, they discussed what had just happened. Brother, haven't you heard? If a person attains the Tao, all his relatives and friends also receive positions. Don't deny it. Deep down, you're pleased about it. Brother, as you climb the ladder of success, don't forget about Shuir. She reminded him about herself. They had just moved away from them. Leaning against a column railing, stood Shin. Sister Xiao, Chen addressed her. Brother Lu, congratulations on reaching the seventh level. But it's still not enough. As she passed by him, she headed to the temple. If a person's virtue does not match their status, failure is inevitable. Rely on yourself. The same goes for strength and training. The last words, instructions, echoed to them. Brother, don't listen to her. Lu Fan tried to support. But deep down, he knew that Xiao Xin was right. The seventh level. He needed to achieve more. Cultivation is a challenging task. Cultivation is linked to the six great realms, each with ten levels within them. Every time you reach a new level, you need to put in even more effort. Countless people have suffered defeat. Although he wasn't entirely sure what made him special, he would show his master what he was capable of. At the hour of the dragon, Lu Chen and Zhou Lin Yan met on the mountain. The weather was beautiful. The sun was shining, as if trying to share its warmth with everyone. The grass was green and birds were singing. In short, nothing foreshadowed trouble. As a teacher, I must withstand a strike of heavenly lightning, and you will watch from the sidelines, the temple's founder said. So fast, Lu barely had time to think. This is a clan secret, as well as the peculiarity of your essence, he said the phrase in a strange way, as if not saying something. Understood, was all he could reply. Meanwhile, the master began to chant, Earth and sky, the beginning of everything, there are no other sources. For 10,000 years we have proven this with words and deeds. He rose into the sky, Small red lightning bolts seem to bind him. Among the three spheres, only Tao is the only true path. This is a technique of deception, Lu noticed. Zhou Linyan continued. The golden dragon covers the soul and body. I see nothing. I hear nothing. All living beings encompass, nurture the heavens and the earth. The dissemination of 10,000 sacred scriptures will illuminate the soul. Three spheres protect the five legendary emperors who ruled and governed everything. Pantheon of gods, accept me, heavenly lightning. The sky darkened, and it seemed like the clouds hung so low that you could almost touch them. A strong wind blew, almost knocking Lu off his feet. Summoning. The master's face expressed maximum concentration, and his eyes almost bulged from the tension. He floated in the sky and hundreds of small lightning bolts seemed to embed themselves in the master's body. At the same time, in the sky among the other lightning bolts, the most massive one appeared. Several dozen slightly smaller lightning bolts began to strike around Lu, causing him confusion. Joe's reaction put him in a state of shock. Master, the lightning is about to strike me. Dodging among the lightning bolts, trying to hit him, 
Lou ran to the spot where Zhou Linyan was in the air. But now he was not a kind mentor who tried to share nuggets of wisdom with everyone, and it seemed that only bright forces moved him and a person who used him for his own purposes. One movement of his hand and Lu no longer controlled his own body. The master raised him up and then threw him down with all his might. Hey, huh? Don't you understand? Why am I not saving you? The voice of the master contained mockery. Chen did not understand what was happening. But he understood one thing. Zhou Linyan was not the person to be trusted. Why does the heavenly lightning want to strike you? The master enjoyed what was happening because the person who summoned the heavenly lightning was you. On these last words, Zhou Chen was speechless, not believing his ears. Chapter 2 The person who summoned the heavenly lightning was me? Zhou decided to raise him into the air again, but this time headfirst. Lu Chen, on Poyasni Island in the last 3,000 years, you are the only one who has the ability to summon natural elements. Such power is kept and secretly passed down only in the Temple of Vans, the master explained, throwing Lu into the ravine. From the very beginning, your essence was a thousand elements. Your teacher reread ancient writings about changing the course of celestial phenomena. Oh, just a year before your parents' death, he concealed, revealing the secret of his existence. Father, mother, he loved his parents and mourned them bitterly. At that moment, it felt as if they took away the source of his life. Sometimes, in difficult times, your essence is enough, but sometimes, you need a little push. So it was, you. After years, he still couldn't forget the scene that made him feel guilty forever. In front of them, a multi-headed serpent with glowing red eyes, a dark entity, stood, writhing. A little more, and it seemed like it would tear everyone to shreds. Although it wasn't entirely clear whether it was thunder, or the master's sinister laughter, Run! You are a clan genius. We will definitely protect you. In a battle with Zhou in the form of a snake, they died. The two people closest to Lu Chen's heart. Ha ha ha. These little people, however, did not die in vain. It was no longer clear whether the thunder was rumbling or the master's malicious laughter. After their sacrifice, you finally achieved eternal essence. It was clear that the master was celebrating Lu's achievement, but he only celebrated because now Lin Yan could achieve his goal. You cannot achieve immortality on Poyasni Island, but you, my student, have truly lived up to the teacher's expectations. An enormous heavenly vortex formed above him, at the beginning of which the largest lightning bolt appeared. Zhou was ready to become immortal. But even this earth cannot escape divine retribution, the master continued to gloat. Disgusting, thought Lu. But the worst part of this situation was that he had tried to become stronger to protect himself and his loved ones and to choose his own destiny. And in the end, he had essentially lost. Zhou Linyan, you scoundrel. He knew his powers were not enough to change what was happening, but he was furious. He drew his sword and tried to reach Zhou, but it was futile. Ha ha, Lu Chen, do not forget how much good I did for you. Do you know why you haven't been struck by lightning yet? It's because your teacher is protecting you. The master tried to make his student feel ungrateful. Here, Lu realized that the wooden tablet Lin Yan had given him yesterday was enhancing his deception technique. Deception technique. A heavenly lightning struck down on the mountain where they both stood. It seemed as though a red table had been driven into the earth with an energy perpetually churning within. Zhou was inside the lightning. Zhou Lin Yan! Stop! Lu aimed his sword at himself, hoping it would mean something to the master. But it didn't matter to him, as all the good, as he had called it, was done solely for personal gain. This is your retribution, my student. A hand pointed toward Lu, and with the power and energy, the sword disintegrated into dust. He had no choice but to watch. All that countless time spent cultivating was only for this day. Today, I, Zhou Linyan, will leave this mortal world. I will ascend to the heavens. I alone will achieve awakening. The master rejoiced. He succeeded. Farewell, mortal world. Ha ha ha. 
and he disappeared in a stream of lightning in the sky. The founder ascended to the heavens. The elders saw the lightning from the temple courtyard. Who would have thought that heavenly lightning would descend to this world? Xiao Xinyu didn't exactly doubt it, but she didn't believe it until the end. And then the lightning and the trace disappeared. The sky once again clouded over, and the only reminders of what happened were the pits, as if craters, and a light rain. It was all true. Memories from past lives rushed into Lu. I was wrong. I trusted the wrong person. All my hopes are shattered. I couldn't protect them. And all because I summon elemental disasters. I am an original sin. System notification, you died. Chen didn't want to accept what happened, but it was indeed true. And I am really dead. This is my second death. In my previous and this life, I became stronger, protected, and sought revenge. I have achieved everything. It's time to die. But why should I? Why should Zhou Lin Yan become a resident of heaven? Why? 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 Although he thought, it seemed like everyone heard this question. Never dare to take on a sin just because you are weak. Lu himself didn't understand where this voice in his head came from. If the previous system notification notified him that Lu had died, now the system notification showed the following. System activation was successful. Lu Chen opened his eyes wide and couldn't believe he was still in his body. I am still alive? On the one hand, he was glad, but on the other hand, he tried to understand if there was a catch. His injuries disappeared, and his cultivation level also increased. Then a small screen appeared in front of him. Is this a mandatory time travel system? Lu spoke his thoughts out loud. For 18 years he had experienced so much, and now he had to die again. And really, a bitter sigh. But as soon as a new breath entered his lungs, Chen felt a new surge of strength and self-confidence. I won't give up so easily, and pressed the confirm button. The previous image changed to a schematic showing his data. System panel. Name. Lu Chen. Cultivation. Seventh level cultivator. Bad luck. 7. Essence. Essence of Eternity. Technique. Technique of Immortality. Task. Element of the Sun. Remaining Time. 0, 0, 0, 5, 64. After reading, Lu decided to continue. System Notification. You have already died from Lightning. Achievement. Elemental Beginner Level. Resurrect. One Attempt. Use. Achievement of Bad Luck. Plus 0. System Notification. Congratulations, you have successfully activated the system. Open. System notification. Accept the task. Element of the sun not completed, for which punishment follows. Remaining time for task completion 0, 0, 0, 005 64. Start. Element of the sun. Punishment. What does it mean? He felt like he was in some kind of puzzle again. Lu had already begun to think it was difficult, but out of the corner of his eye, he noticed that there was a high-level unclean spirit standing behind him. Something like a mixture of wolves and werewolves. Their number was large enough, and Chen wasn't sure if he had enough strength to deal with them. The only way to deal with them was to open the starter pack. This technique had to work. System notification. Congratulations. You have received the technique of immortality. System notification. The feature of the technique of immortality. Strengthening True Qi. Lu was ready for battle. Attack! And as if on command, the animals pounced on him. I will destroy you. Now, it wasn't the unclean spirits attacking him. He was attacking them. The first few creatures fell dead within seconds. This is... the power of heavenly lightning. His body seemed to emit small electric discharges, Seeing how easily some of the unclean spirits lost their lives, the rest decided to give up their positions. They were probably scared, but Lu decided to finish them off. The technique of immortality increased the power of heavenly lightning. Our hero didn't expect this technique to increase his speed and strength. He killed the unclean spirits and earned seven points of bad luck. But what did he need this bad luck for? Is there a task element of the sun? Should I start it? He thought for a moment. However, he didn't have time to think, and he pressed the start button with full combat readiness. 
Immediately, thunder rolled through the sky, and lightning began to flash. Again? Lou thought angrily. I didn't expect the system to be so tricky. He decided to hide for a while. Fortunately, the power of this element of the sun barely allowed for a basic attack. System! Chen decided to take a look at it. It seemed that the element of the sun could only be used once a day. After he completed the element of the sun, he earned five more points of bad luck. Lu decided to check and struck a stone wall with all his might. From the top of the cave, a small round ball of bluish color fell into his hands. Indeed, I have become much stronger, a worthy system. Well, it's time to return to the Van Temple. He still appreciated it. Thanks to the power of Zhou Lin Yan, the great clans entered the Van Temple over a thousand years. Their powers were impressive. Techniques, elixirs, precious treasures. All of this was extremely necessary for him. But he no longer intended to be the Founder's disciple. These elders with their greedy eyes won't be able to make him stay in the position of an heir. True, there was still Xiao Xinyu, but with the system, Lu gained unparalleled abilities. In essence, she was eliminated from his competitors. Furthermore, records of the Technique of Immortality are hidden in the Temple of Van. I won't give in for anything. He tightly squeezed the blue ball and shattered it in his palm, causing himself pain. If before, Lu Chen always tried to be modest. Now his dark side had come to the surface. I will definitely kill you, even if you're immortal, he promised himself. The stars were already shining in the courtyard, and the calm of the night remained undisturbed. However, something made Lu quiet down and listen carefully. He had a feeling that someone was nearby. Who's there? And, without waiting for an answer, he threw his sword where he suspected someone was hiding. Fortunately, it was just Fan Shu and Chen barely missed her. Fortunately, the weapon plunged into a stone block a few centimeters away from her. Chapter 3 Sister Fan? She was the last person he expected to see here. Brother Lu? And she thought to herself, how did he notice me? Sister Fan, how did you end up here? I was very worried about you. Yesterday the Founder attained immortality, and you disappeared somewhere. Lu wasn't even surprised that this was yesterday as he had spent so much time in unconsciousness. I thought celestial lightning struck you. While Zue chattered merrily, Chen tried to discreetly examine her, trying to determine if she had been injured by his throw. Brother, how are you feeling? I'm fine, don't worry. It seems she knew nothing. I'm okay. The Master has ascended to the heavens. I just miss him a little. Ha 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 then asked to become a disciple of my master, Fan suggested, hugging the guy from behind. Isn't your master Mu Kui in good relations with Zhou Linyan? If he won't seek revenge on me I'll thank him, Lu thought. He didn't show with his appearance that his sister's offer was unpleasant to him. By the way, Mu Kui is a monk of spiritual power, and Zhui, she was looking for me. He was surprised that she was scared by his absence and worried about him. Okay, let's go back he suggested, offering her his hand. Meanwhile, three days later, there was a meeting in the Temple of Van. Lu Chen, when the lightning struck the Founder, you were on top of the mountain watching, right? The elders asked. That's right. Did the awakening of the Founder succeed? Yes. Contrary to expectations, the Founder was indeed able to summon celestial lightning, said Yuan, the elder of the Temple of Van, a third-level master. For three thousand years, he's the only one who has succeeded. Xiao Fanin, the elder of the Temple of Van, a first-level master, added. Oh, he's gone forever. Has he forgotten that he's the founder of the Temple of Van? Mu Junkui lamented. Lu tensed. Lu Chen, Zhou Linyan, did the founder reveal to you the secret of summoning celestial lightning? Yuan asked. The other two elders looked at him with tension. Ah... They want to use me, Chen guessed. Once the secret of immortality is revealed, he will surely become an instrument for the elders to achieve Mahayana. In other words, though it's true, a puppet with strings. But the system didn't give him a second chance to resurrect, so he won't sacrifice himself for others' whims. No. And even if I had revealed it, you would have been the first to know this secret. The master must have left something for the clan. He assured, 
placing his hand over his heart. Damn, am I not destined to ascend to the heavens from the floating island? Yuan was slightly disappointed. Stop interrogating him, Jun Kui almost ordered. Now that Lin Yan has achieved immortality, we, the elders of the Temple of Van, must consider choosing a new founder. Right. Now that Zhou Linyan is in heaven, the Temple of Van has lost almost half of its power. We need a worthy successor. A genius who can preserve the glory of the Eight Paths clan. Yuan continued. Lu stood at attention. The Eight Paths clan's land. The Temple of Van is a chaotic floating island. A hundred thousand years ago, one of the ancestors raised troops to search for immortals. Zhou Linyan led one of the squads. There were many casualties and injuries. But Lin Yan far exceeded that ancestor, so he became the strongest of the older generation. The temple had a kind of ladder of status. First, the mighty founder Zhou Lin Yan. Then, the master elders. Masters had their disciples. Followers. Next, disciples followers of immortality. And disciples followers of basic principles. They are still too weak, but there are those to whom talent has been passed down by inheritance. Lu Chen, Fan Xu, and Xiao Xin Yu are disciples followers of Qi cultivation. The Eight Paths clan fell into obscurity, but then Zhou Linyan appeared. He was chosen on the Council of Elders and gained power. As disciples of the Three Elders, they could accumulate any resources, up to the most precious ones. One of them could even become the next founder. Lu Chen, Mu Junkui turned to the young man. You joined the clan at twelve, you realized it a bit late. Although Lin Yan valued your abilities, you can only be one of the candidates for now. Xin Yu is 19 years old, she's a 9th level cultivator. Xue is 17, she's a 7th level cultivator. They surpass you. Although he didn't say it directly, his words suggested that he was eliminating Lu from the candidates. Ha ha ha. Do you think I'm weak and that's why you're deciding to strip me of my legitimate right to power? Well, in that case... Chen clenched his fist. That's my opinion. Lu Chen, your level of strength does not match the level required for this position. Jun Kui cut him off, not allowing Lu to say a word. Wait a minute. I've heard for a long time that the Great Elder is known for his excellent insight into violent situations. Haven't you felt it yet? Mockery could be heard in the voice of Lin Yan's disciple. What? Jun Kui looked at him in bewilderment. In an instant, the hall of the Temple of Van filled with the illuminating light emanating from Lu. Is this? Have you mastered the limit of heavenly lightning? Jun Kui was taken aback. What? A limit? How is that possible? He's only 18. Brother Lu? Is that really true? Chen stood in the middle of the hall, staring directly at the head elder. A limit? Just three days ago, he was a sixth level cultivator. How did he manage it? Xiao looked at him in disbelief. No wonder my little brother noticed me in the cave, Fan guessed. I awakened my true essence with the help of heavenly lightning. Lu slowly but confidently advanced. All thanks to the additional points for the element of the sun. And just yesterday, I mastered that limit. In three days? How is that possible? Cultivating qi is the most demanding limit. It takes one to two years to master one limit. What's his innate essence, after all? The onlookers whispered. Lu Chen manifested his essence. So young and yet so much energy. This is an omen for the Temple of Van. Yuan clapped his hands with satisfaction. He's almost catching up to Qing Yu's strength, Xiao Fenin noted. I'll reach the limit soon, too. Xiao Qing Yu replied somewhat offended. Fan only gave her a glance. Oh, in that case... It seems that the choice will be between the three of you after all, Jun Kui concluded. No need. Lu came almost face to face with him. Before the master ascended to the heavens, he already appointed me. Stepping up to the vacant throne, he extended a wooden tablet given to him by Zhou, days before all of this. I, Lu Chen, the rightful founder of the Temple of Van. And he showed the tablet to the entire temple. Chapter 4 What? What? Impossible. Xiao Qingyu thought for the umpteenth time today that luck smiled on anyone but her. Although Fan Zhuer was looking into Lu's eyes, almost rejoicing for him. He's holding the Founder's tablet. Is he lying? 
Suppose he reached the limit, then it means his strength is on par with the chief disciples, the followers, and that's it. Right. He won't become a powerful founder, it's a big responsibility. The other disciples whispered among themselves. How could Lin Yan pass the power to you? It's simply absurd, Fan Zhuo assured. I'm the founder's personal disciple. What's stopping me from inheriting the master's position? Besides, if it's not me in his place, who else, if not one of the three elders? Lu looked them in the eyes. Stop talking nonsense. She tried to be more specific. Ha ha ha. The elders know their worth. You, one of the chief disciples of the followers, think I'm not worthy of becoming the founder? Chen addressed the audience and asked for their opinion. Yes, I think, the disciple replied. Then let me ask you a question. Who is more likely to ascend to the heavens? A master who hasn't let himself bloom for many years? Or a young disciple who has reached the limit? I... The disciple couldn't find an answer. Lu continued. Originally, in the Temple of Van, young disciples were selected to conceal the master's power. You don't care what other schools think if they choose someone weaker than the previous one after the master ascends to the heavens. After all, you want to achieve victory at any cost. So young disciples were also selected in the Temple of Van to control their power. He glanced at Xu and Qing Yu. Now, thanks to the master's help, I have awakened my abilities, and my strength surpasses the other two candidates. The master has passed the power to me. Just a little earlier, that's all. I am the rightful founder. Elders, do you want to go against the master's will? He asked them. This kid is really clever, talking to the three elders and not even looking in my direction. Haha. <laughs> the founder's thinking is indeed filled with Dao, Yuan Zhanghai thought. Wait! Xiao Qingyu stepped forward and stood in front of Lu. You're right, but what you're saying is based on the assumption that your abilities are stronger than ours, especially mine. You're looking for an easy way to become the founder and ascend to the heavens. You may have reached the limit before me, but that doesn't mean you surpass me. She turned to him and drew her sword. Lu Chen, I challenge you to a duel. Qing Yu, well said, this is fair. Fenin supported her. Fan Xin simply watched the events with tense anticipation. Only one duel. Lu raised a finger and said, What? Qing Yu didn't understand. If I can't defeat you in one duel, then no one will stop you from becoming the founder. Well, you've asked it for it yourself. She was absolutely 96% sure she would win. She jumped high, gathered all her strength, and focused her energy into her weapon directed at her opponent. This is the Enlightenment Sword of Magic. Qing Yu was not sure where to put herself out of excitement. Fenin personally taught her all the techniques, so she was completely confident in her student. This kid has overcome himself many times, but his foundation is unstable, so he probably won't have the strength to defeat Qing Yu. Besides, the weapon is powerful, he'll lose. It seemed the elders had already decided who would emerge victorious. This is even better. First we'll remove Lu Chen, stabilize our position, and then gradually... Mu Junkui had already begun to plan. However, Qing Yu decided to attack first. She was absolutely confident that she would win against her little brother. But he just stood there silently. A moment later, a storm of energy hid what was happening from the eyes of the spectators. Is he... Is he okay? It can't be. She used the Enlightenment Sword of Magic. The surrounding disciples were now afraid to look at the center of the hall. Is that all? The energy storm, with burning sparks, dissipated, and Lu emerged completely unscathed. You... Ching Yu couldn't believe her eyes. Quite weak. Little lightning bolts radiated around him. He held the sword in his hand, suppressing its power. How is this possible? Elder Xiao tried to understand, hallucination or reality. Huir only silently shifted her gaze from one to another. Too weak. It can't even compare to the power of the element of the sun. He pronounced judgment, feeling Lu's sword. Three days had passed since the system was activated, and the power of the element of the sun grew with each passing day. He had to take the place of the founder. He had to gather resources to strengthen his power. He had to take control of everything. He had to kill Zhou Linyan. And every second of his life, 
he fulfilled this promise. The moment, and he reflected the force coming from Qin Yu right back at her. Sister Xiao, you've upset me. And he pushed her away. Enough. After all, Elder Fennin loved her. But Lu didn't stop. If he needed to eliminate her, he would. One motion of his hand towards her abdomen, and blood poured from her mouth. Another motion, and she flew to the opposite side of the hall, but Fennin managed to catch her. I won, as it should be. Xiao Qinyu had already lost, so now there was only you left among the three candidates. Sister Fan, do you want to fight me? Huh? I... What? No. No! As confirmation of her words, Su waved her hands from side to side. Disgusting kid, Junkui thought in his heart, even though he had just planned to kill at least two people. Fennin lowered Qin Yu's body to the marble floor. I told you to stop, didn't you hear me? I heard. So what? That was his whole answer. Having reached the limit, you've gone mad. Today, I will punish the audacious offspring. Anger and determination raged in her. It's your turn. Chapter 5 Xiao Fenin directed a stream of energy towards Lu in the form of a huge hand. Well, give it a try. See if you can break me. Chen was fully prepared. Little brother Lu, Fan was genuinely concerned about her friend. This old woman is planning to strike so powerfully that this child... Even Jun Kui began to contemplate the situation. But he soon realized that this child didn't need his help. This can't be. Lu constructed a protective dome of energy around him that prevented her from attacking. Elder Xiao, could you help me? He attempted to negotiate. Just as you reached the limit, you dared to provoke me? Now she also felt the force of his power. If you won't play nice, we'll do it the hard way. And for the second time in the last hour, she brought out the board. In the blink of an eye, it turned into a small sun. What's happening? Those around, especially the students, were afraid to move. When activated, the Founder's Board activated the Van Temple. If the patterns on the walls, ceiling, and floor had previously been mere decoration, what was now before, their eyes resembled a massive spiderweb. Whoever had and could use this board also had great courage compared to others. Founder's Board. He opened it. Holding it high above his head, as if showing off, Chen showed it to everyone. Where did you get the strength to open the Founder's Board? Fennin had almost forgotten how he had managed to open it. Hmm, interesting. Lu pretended to ponder, feeling superior. Ceiling. As if casting a spell, he directed the board towards Fennin. Heavy, massive iron chains began to reach and bind her, as if she were a criminal. What? Now she wasn't attacking, but trying to at least break free from her chains. The chains tightened even more. This scoundrel, he has a skill. Junkui's plan to quickly get rid of Lu had completely failed. When do you think you'll run out of strength? Chen asked Xiao Fenin, who was still trying to free herself. The chains had her pinned to the ground. I'm afraid your cultivation foundations won't be able to support this much longer. Let's wait until your mana runs out and see what tricks you have left. The small ornaments on the ends of the stick, which formed the basis of his headwear, nervously jingled. Lu sighed. Hey, you guessed right. But since the master passed the position of the founder to me, could I not have any tricks up my sleeve? It seemed as if lightning would start shooting from his eyes any moment. You should have realized that the founder's board was blocked. Besides me, no one can control the founder's board. After all, he left it to me. Well, Elder Xiao, if you force me to use the Disciples' Mana Reserve, even if you don't die, you'll feel uncomfortable, and the heavens will also be buried with me at the end of the millennium. To acknowledge him as the founder was still a defeat for Fennin. Madman, this guy is crazy, Xiao kept muttering as she knelt. Ahem. Elder Xiao, since Brother Zhou has decided, let's give Lu Chen a chance, Yuan interjected. Furthermore, without the board, Control over ground transport, the warehouse, and the forbidden zone of the secret realm will be inaccessible. You know what that means. Fennin was thinking hard and still trying to free herself. How can this be? Xinyu looked at her mentor with regret. Zhou's nephew. He deserves to be Lin Yan's personal disciple. His spiritual strength is the same as the teacher's. Today, the three elders were the first to make a mistake. I can temporarily acknowledge you as the founder. 
but if you can't bear the responsibility in the future, I will break the seal when I become a master of the highest level. Junkui had essentially acknowledged him as the founder. The great elder, Mu Junkui, while he was currently yielding to the incredible power of the seal, would never acknowledge Lu Chen. Dealing with him would be much more difficult than with Xiao Xinyu. Fortunately, when Zhou reached the limit, he used the board to employ a deceptive technique, which led to the fact that the power of heavenly grief remained on this board. Only the canon of eternity and immortality can control it. The fact that Lu can control it is already a coincidence. What a shame. In the end, it's not his power. It was already becoming difficult for him to suppress Xiao Fenin, and the others were just pretending to be ruthless. And he said, Because of your past merits, I will spare you. He decided to continue playing the role of an emotionless youth. He removed the Founder's tablet, and the chains scattered, dissolving into the air. Finally, Lu stepped onto the floor. Does anyone else have any objections? He asked those present in the hall. Yuan Zhanghai was the first to fold his hands in respect and said, We humbly request the Founder to take his place. The others also folded their hands and bowed before Lu, saying, We humbly request the Founder to take his place. This was the peak of his triumph. With his head held high and a proud demeanor, he ascended the throne. He placed his hands on the armrests and felt a new surge of power. He addressed the people, saying, Starting from this day, I, Lu Chen, am the founder of the heavens. Fan Shuir, Xiao Xinyu, protect me in the name of the law. Yes, Fan joyfully pledged to him. Yes, Xiao Xinyu swore, finding it difficult to admit her defeat. Lu continued, Founder of the heavens, three elders, twelve masters, three hundred servants, eight thousand disciples, thirty-six clans. List all those who have established themselves in this temple. Now, I am laying the foundation for ascension here. The floating island welcomed its founder. System notification. Congratulations, you have reached the level of the founder and the philosopher's stone Shanchen has been unlocked. It was time for him to try out new possibilities, Lu thought, smiling. Chapter 6 In the Kingdom of Heaven, a magnificent view opened up from Mount Qingzu. Hundreds of different types of trees formed a wonderful ensemble with various plants, leaving no square centimeter empty. Life teemed everywhere. Birds flew in the air, chirping merrily. Everything was just as it had been thousands of years ago, except for one thing. An unusual cloud floated above the mountain, from the middle of which descended a massive column of bluish energy. There, Lu Chen trained. A crater had formed right below him, freshly scorched by lightning and a faint smell of burnt wood still lingered in the air. Everything fell silent for a moment, but soon, the forest resumed its lively existence. Lu, dripping with sweat, commented, I've gone through it all again. It was clear that his training exhausted his body, making him stronger in the process. A strange scar had formed on his forehead, near the hairline on his left eyebrow, as if a little lightning bolt had decided to settle on his face, Apparently, the system parasitized as a scar on his forehead whenever he used its capabilities. He didn't really know where the system had come from. For a while, he stood there, observing the view, and massaging the scar with his fingers. The stolen power stopped flowing more and more. However, the gained power was still rated at only five points. Lu contemplated the system and decided to open the system panel. After cultivation reaches the basic level, the number of points required to level up increases by tens of times. If there was no other way to become stronger quickly, his growth rate wouldn't keep up with the stolen power, and he would be killed. Lu Chen decided to check the store. Items needed for cultivation were divided into four categories, sky, earth, life, and death. In the store, he didn't have a single celestial stone, the local currency. Skills could be purchased, such as the basics of tempering or understanding the laws of nature, magical weapons like the Sword of Thunder and Wind, and Banners of the Five Elements, various minor items, resurrection pills, wood, artifacts, all of this could help him become stronger. Each class was divided into three levels, high, medium, and low. The lowest level goods with the lowest prices sold by the system were local products considered treasures, not to mention uh, there were items with astronomical prices. For example, while a regular item might cost 15 stones, something like the Chaos Banner was priced at 500 stones, 
A staff with golden rings was also 500 stones. 108 evil earth spirits were 700 stones. There were even items worth 8,000 stones, such as the immortality pill and the life map for 9,000 stones. This was the currency used in the store. In fact, Lu had never heard of it. And these stones could only be obtained by completing system tasks. He had three tasks at the moment. Currently, the task list consisted of the following. First, find the immortality pill. Reward plus 50 stones. Second, consume ancient items. Reward plus N, meaning an undetermined amount depending on the item. Third, overcome the heavenly trial. Reward unknown. Finding the immortality pill was currently an unattainable task for Lu. As for overcoming the heavenly trial, he had no ideas yet. Lu got dressed and slowly walked down the mountain path. Although he didn't know what these ancient items were, there was a chance to find something in the tombs of celestial bodies. At the mountain entrance near the stairs, Fan Shuir and Xiao Xinyu were standing, guarding him. Brother, have you finished your practice? Fan exclaimed joyfully. If Shuir still saw Lu as an old friend, Xiao Xinyu, although she secretly harbored a bit of resentment, addressed him as you and sir. Defending you is very difficult, Lu replied. Defending? You clearly want to take me hostage to control my grandmother. Xiao Xinyu was referring to Xiao Fenin, her elder and mentor. She probably wouldn't follow Lu's orders if he weren't the founder now. And yet, Xiao Xinyu had been quite disdainful toward him. What happened? He asked Xiao, as if he didn't understand anything. You, being the founder's guardian is no small responsibility, Fan chimed in. Passing by Xiao Xinyu, Lu spoke to her, not giving her a chance to speak. Before my teacher ascended, elder sister Xiao once told me that if you don't deserve your position, misfortune awaits you. I will always remember those words. The last sentence was spoken completely emotionlessly, but it concealed a wide range of emotions. He continued, Please, calm down, I won't embarrass you, I still have other matters to attend to. You may go. Xiao Xin Yu silently watched him as he left. Meanwhile, Lu visited one of the elders, Yuan Jianghai, in his splendid residence. The founder of the heavens was looking for me. What brought you here? Lu Yuan asked, pouring drinks into their cups. They sat facing each other in a pavilion, basking in the warmth of the sunlit day. I must ask you a question, Elder Yuan, Lu began, lifting his cup and revealing the purpose of his visit. I also want to thank you for your hospitality, he said, making it sound like a toast. Ha ha, Lu Chen. I truly admire your straightforwardness and lack of hints. You must know that I have known Master Zhou for hundreds of years. He did not set restrictions on the use of the spellboard. Their conversation gradually unfolded, and Lu needed to extract as much information as possible from it. And? Lu asked. Ah, that time, to save the heavens I had to support you. But who knows? Maybe you are hiding your true intentions, if you don't provide a reasonable explanation. Yuan knew what he wanted to say, but decided to leave it unsaid, as what the master wanted to say was too significant even inexplicable to himself. The challenge was in formulating it. That's the power of heavenly sorrow, Yuan said, setting down his cup. The power of heavenly sorrow? How can that be? The elder realized that it would be a long time before he stopped being amazed, not just by Lu's power, but by his abilities. Oh, if it were not so, how could the master have chosen me? Lu turned away, exposing his face to the sun's rays, and slowly but confidently began to confide in Yuan. I will only speak of this to you, Elder Yuan. I was born with the spirit of thunder, and I have been friends with the power of thunder since birth. Until I reach the appropriate level, I may not be able to replicate the master spell to summon heavenly lightning. What? Summon heavenly lightning? He exclaimed, raising his voice. Of course, that was a lie. Lu would never risk his own life to guide others on the path of truth. However, when you speak openly, you can easily win people's hearts. Yuan Jianghai may look like a kind old man, but as a great monk of his time, like him, he cannot have no demands. They exchange glances silently. Mu Junkui and Xiao Fanin have followers, but Yuan is the weakest. The master knew Lu was lying and was ready to help him ascend. He just wanted to profit from it. 
Since Elder Yuan hoped he wouldn't speak in hints, then he would speak directly. He is the chief of the celestial lands. Mu Junkui is too cunning, and Xiao Fenin is the same. Only Elder Yuan has the most followers of our generation. I, Yuan Zhanghai, as the elder of the celestial lands, will faithfully serve you and help you rise even higher. The master pledged, and Lu needed that. Judging by his appearance, it did not seem like a lie. If you think about it, there's a lot of trust here. He would place his bet on him. What does the founder of the heavens want Yuan to do? The elder asked. I want you to help me with the trial, Lu replied directly. Is this the founder's secret vault? I'm here for the first time. They were in a circular, one-story building. Inside, there was only one vast room. Painted on the dome above was a celestial star map. The room had no furniture, chairs, tables, or clothing. Its height was about 35 to 40 meters. The founder's secret vault, the treasures of the vault, are not here. They are stored on the other side. You must pass through a magical field, Yuan explained. He approached one of the walls, placed his hand on it, unlocking a portal. Each treasure has limitations, but with the spellboard, you may be able to get what you wish for. However, Master Lu, even though the authority of the spellboard is great, you must choose carefully. Yuan threw him a small bamboo scroll that would allow him to pass through. Thank you, Mr. Yuan, for the reminder, Lu said, finding himself on the other side of the building in an even more spacious chamber. Like the previous room, it had no furnishings, just a beautifully decorated floor, ceiling, and walls. The room was bathed in a beautiful, soft, sun-yellow light. Choice? Lu was not sure how to proceed. You really need to choose. He took out the spell board. Come to me. He didn't know the exact words for a summon, but he didn't need them. Small, yellow, fire-like orbs swarmed around him from all sides, giving him time to examine them. The quickest way to improve one's cultivation is to take pills. However, there is a limit to the perfection of medicine or else the system will be unstable, and you cannot advance to the next level. In addition to the deception technique, which is highly significant, system tasks can lead to rapid success. It's a pity that there's no deception technique here, and there are currently no chances of obtaining it in the restricted area. Lu continued to examine the orbs. Suddenly, a system notification came. Ancient strange objects detected, remnants of a wandering Buddhist monk, Absorb? Indeed, there are. Not only did the system indicate that these would be suitable for him, but it also singled them out among the other orbs. Absorb. Chapter 7 Lu continued to examine the orbs flying around him. Another orb caught his attention. As it landed on his hand, the orb's shell disintegrated, leaving a small mirror. System notification. Remnants of clouds detected after absorption. Evil luck increased by 27, Heavenly Stone 1. Absorb? Yes. No. Absorb! Confidently nodding, he tossed it up. The object turned into a small transparent fiery sphere, approached his forehead, and gradually dissolved, merging into his body. System notification. You have absorbed the remnants of clouds. Received evil luck. 27. Heavenly Stone. 1. In reality, these remnants gave him 27 points, and he spent five days at the summit. Lu tried to look at his reflection in the mirror but soon realized that the item was useless now, as it had given him its power. He discarded it. In that case, four or five remnants can help him advance to the next level. It seems that the task of searching for ancient artifacts is indeed the best choice for him to increase his strength at the moment. Because of how Mu Jung-Q works, he cannot peacefully improve. We need to hurry and absorb the ancient treasures of the clan, was the Founder's conclusion. Meanwhile, at night, a small group of guys went on patrol in Sudan Shui Men. Brother, someone from the clan recently died. Do you think it's safe to go out so late? Anxiously asked one of them, glancing around. Hey, listen, you're a monk too. Cultivating your chi, how can you be so timid? Another decided to shame him. If the killer dares to come out tonight, it would be great. Let him try. When he meets me during the night patrol, I'll sacrifice my life, but I'll punish him. This guy didn't know that the head of the guy walking behind him had already been separated from his body. Did you even understand what I said? He decided to continue. Lee, 
His corpse fell on the pavement. The night passed, morning came, and it became day. Please leave us as soon as possible. Yuan has something important to tell you. Gathering quickly, the founder hurried to the elder, but the elder had already come to him. Elder Yuan? The second level. It's only been three days, and he's already reached this level. Even if he was taking pills, the fact that he continuously raised his level indicates that he has a good foundation. It seems like this time, I made the right choice. Yuan was still not used to marveling at Lu's spiritual growth. Elder Yuan, what's happening? You even came to me personally? One thing is afraid that the Heavenly Clan will have to reveal itself to solve this issue. Walking side by side, they descended the stairs in the garden. Sudan Shuiman, one of the subsidiary clans, seems to be planning to leave us and join the Styx River Clan, Lu Yuan informed. Where did you hear this news? From Xing Chatan. Lu still didn't fully understand what all this could mean, as he had only recently taken on the role of the founder and was still learning to be one, and already such problems. First, I heard that several disciples were brutally killed in Sudan Shuiman, and Xing Chatan suspected that someone from the Styx clan was secretly involved. I wanted to conduct an investigation, but Sudan Shuiman found a pretext to stop it and refused to cooperate. Yuan took out a map, spreading it on the table in the gazebo. Instead of the usual cities, specific areas were marked on it, each corresponding to a particular clan. The Constellation Clan, the Golden Sword Clan, the Clan of Heavenly Lands, the Styx River Clan, the Tai Hao Clan, the Cloud Clan, and the Fire Clan. The Styx River Clan is one of the eight major clans of the floating continent, practicing dark arts and always hostile to the Heavenly Kingdom. If the murderer is hiding inside, Sudan Shuman should have no reason to refuse our help. They walk together along the garden paths. Thus, we suspect that both Sudan Shuman and the Styx clan are conspiring. When was Sudan Shuman a member of my clan? He recently remembered the swallowed object, a magical weapon made from remnants of cloud water, which was given to Sudan Shuman. Sudan Shuman has belonged to us for 300 years, and they have always been loyal. But after Master Zhou ascended and left, um... Yuan tried to say the next part as gently and delicately as possible. They heard that one of the juniors became the founder of the clan, and they were concerned that the heavenly clan had fallen. The strength of Sudan Shuiman was the first to be used in the subsidiary clan. Clan Master Sun Yuan is a cultivator of the eighth level, although he is not much better than our heavenly clan. But after Master Zhou's ascension, our power has significantly diminished. After the other seven clans start fighting, it will be very difficult to maintain our position as the head of the eight major clans. They all walked, strolling, occasionally stopping to look at each other's faces. The elders will discuss this issue, and if they notice that the founder can visit Sudan Shuimen without any problem, while showing little talent, it will show that the future is for the heavenly clan. I think the head of the Sun Clan is very well informed about current affairs," Yuan concluded. Haha, <laughs> even if Sudan Shuiman weren't rebels, Mu Junqiu would find a pretext to interrupt my practice, but... Sudan Shuiman. Lu's thoughts swarmed in my head. It's not too late yet. Let's go, the founder decided. The day in Sudan Shuiman was coming to an end. The sun was setting behind the horizon, and the first stars were appearing in the sky. Sun Yuan a cultivator of the ninth level, came out to greet the guests, frowning fiercely. Behind him, disciples gathered, whispering fervently. I heard he's only 18 years old, he's a handsome guy. His biography says that the new founder of the clan will be to the east of Sudan Shuiman. I don't know what kind of person he'll be. He's here. It was visible that the master was trying to concentrate as much as possible and tensing up. From the sky, with noise and wind in all its glory, a huge dragon descended, slightly slowing down at the top of the mountain. My god, this is a third-level water dragon, comparable to the Golden Realm, as expected, of the Heavenly Clan. Spectral beasts of the third level are used as mounts, what a luxury. Well, the founder of the Heavenly Island managed to make a first impression. The water dragon shimmered with pale blue scales in the last rays of the sun. It circled several times above the main building, catching the enthusiastic glances of those around. And finally, 
they appeared. The Heavenly Island Clan. Sun Yuan silently studied them, observing from below. The Heavenly Clan, Lu noticed. This man is the owner of the Heavenly Hall, He Hua, a cultivator of the ninth level. He is stronger than me. I am definitely not a match in terms of combat power. He turned his gaze to Suer and Xin Yu, who were proudly standing a little behind the founder. Both guardians are amazingly talented girls. And so, this young man is the new founder of the Heavenly Kingdom, Lu Chen. He was a little surprised, but most importantly, he didn't think anything bad or unpleasant. Meanwhile, the guests walked into the Xuan Shui Men living room. The room itself was entirely made of wood, as were the decorative items and furniture. But there was also a place for iron here. It was present in moderation on the ceiling supporting columns, beams, and in various seals and emblems hanging on household items. The guests had barely set foot in Xuan Shuimen and entered the living room when they were already being discussed. He advanced in cultivation and founded his sect at the age of 18, and he indeed possesses the talent of a Zo master. Yes. Ha ha ha. Yes. Some who succeeded Zhou. But soon, Xuan Shuimen's deputy master, Hunya, a sixth level cultivator, offered the newcomers. Master Lu, this is the divine elixir of the Xuan Shuiman clan, which has been preserved for 300 years. It can enhance your life force. I propose that the master have a glass. His face, like Sun Yuan's, had furrowed brows. Although it wasn't clear what he felt towards Lu Chen, Xuan Shuiman was outwardly polite and never talked about business. This time, Lu made a peaceful visit to Xuan Shuiman and also displayed his position to the other dependent clans, not to use force to suppress others. Therefore, Yuan Jianhai sent only He Hua to accompany Lu in case Chen still needed to sort things out. Let's drink. Lu raised a glass and drank it to the last drop. But how can we break through their defense? The founder never stopped thinking for a moment. Father! The sudden appearance of a disciple in the living room with an exceptionally loud cry was almost accompanied by the drink entering Lu's airways. Fortunately, it didn't happen, and he just silently stared at the breathless boy. The boy continued, Father, it's terrible. Something happened to the disciple who just arrived. Chapter 8 The young man finally exhaled and scanned the people in the room. He was dressed in a brown kimono, with the top half of his hair tied in a bun on his head while the lower half remained loose. He looked like all the other disciples. Sun Yuan's younger son, Sun Tianlin, had the fourth level of qi. A little way from him stood Sun Yuan's older son, Jiang He, a ninth level cultivator. Is this your son? Lu didn't understand why this question was asked, as it was already clear that they were related. Rascal, the Heavenly Kingdom's founder is here, and you still dare to cause trouble. The master scolded his son. Jiang He, quickly send your younger brother back, he ordered his older son. Brother, let's go. But, he was about to take him away, but the younger one hesitated because he believed that they should resolve the situation now and likely take some safety measures. Wait, Lu raised his hand as a protest. Sun Yuan looked at him in confusion. I didn't come here to be received as an honored guest. But would it be a sin if you postponed something important for your family due to festivities and merriment? He addressed the sect's master. Let him finish. Xuan Shuimen belongs to the heavens. If your clan has problems, how can I sit idly by? The question was rhetorical, not requiring an answer. Father, Tianlin tried to explain why he had come. Speak, Lu almost ordered. Yes, just now, under unexplained circumstances, another disciple died. The younger son reported. Huh. Another disciple? The sect leader? Head of the Sun Clan? What is he talking about? The founder turned to Sun. It's trivial. You deal with much more important matters every day. It's trivial. Yuan tried to downplay the situation. Trivial? Chen's face darkened. The lives of disciples are in danger and you think it's trivial? Almost shouting in anger, Lu exclaimed. That's not what I meant. Sun tried to justify himself. Enough. Mr. Sun, I don't want to hear your excuses. The founder stood up from the table, with Shui, Xinyu, 
and Hi Hua following. I need to see it with my own eyes. His decision was unwavering. Apparently, Sun Yuan didn't want to let them into the inner affairs. But, looking at and feeling the strength of Lu He Hua standing behind him, he agreed. As you wish, Founder Lu. In front was Sun Tianlin showing the way. After a few blocks, he stopped in front of the door of the house. Is this it? Lu asked. Yes, Founder Lu, the body is inside. The interior of the room was completely dark, and only a thin line of light shone through the door's crack from the outside, illuminating the room. The smell of death hung in the air, mingling with the nauseating scent of blood. Lu pulled the door handless toward himself. What is this? Sun Tianlin was surprised by something. The body had been dismembered. The deceased had a frozen mask of horror on his face. An open mouth, eyes almost popped out, tongue sticking out, and disheveled hair. Lu stood in the middle of the door, partially obstructing the gruesome scene. Brother Lu... Fan didn't really want Chen to go there, but there was nothing he could do about it. Lu went inside, sat down on the cards, examining the deceased. Is this what you call a death under mysterious circumstances? The body has been dismembered, and the work of a professional is clearly visible, right? Lu tried to piece together the events. When I arrived, everything was different, Sun swore. Guards, did you see anyone enter here? He asked the two guys standing guard. Huh? No, we didn't see anyone. They shook their heads. Brother, they've just begun perfecting their chi. They wouldn't have detected the killer's presence unless he wanted otherwise. Zhang He, the younger brother, pointed out the mistake. All right, this is my fault. I wanted it to be better, but it turned out as always. Sun turned away to hide his face, burning with shame. Founder Lu, did you find anything? Their father asked behind the sons. The body is too badly mutilated. I can't determine the cause of death. Lu replied and turned to Master Hi Hua. Everything happened just as the killer wished. Lu concluded. What should we do? Sun Yuan voiced the question that everyone had in mind. Ha ha ha, Mr. Sun. Don't be so impatient. The founder rose. If my assumptions are correct, the killer will begin to act tonight. He made his judgment based on some facts that were only known to him. Lu Chen said he knows about our plans for today. Did he see something? In the basement, a torch burned with blue flame. Two figures in black cloaks and masks conversed. How is this possible? He's just a child who has barely reached the second level. How could he suspect anything? Let Lu Chen spy on the younger son and extract information from him. The mask concealed the face of the person who spoke these words, but it didn't hide the slippery, abnormal gleam in their eyes. Xiao Xiao. They provided rooms for guests. Lu sat on the bed in a lotus position, contemplating the system. Since he had started studying the basics, he could postpone his task related to the solar element, which was more convenient. But the accumulated power? He was almost certain it would be powerful. But suddenly, he was intrigued and even a little frightened by an external sound from the courtyard. Lu was already scared and prepared for the worst-case scenario, sabotage by Sun Yuan. Stealthily, Chen looked out into the street and saw none other than Xing Yu. Around her, the fallen leaves had not yet fully settled. Sister Xiao, what are you doing? He asked her, calming down. He Hua went to spy on Sun Yuan, and Fan Shui left to gather information. Why should I guard you? To not waste time, she decided to practice. I'm upset. How could you let her go? She didn't understand why he had chosen her to guard him. Lu just imagined her spying on Qing Yu and extracting information from the younger son. Speak quickly. Is that you? This option was unsuitable in this situation, so he sent Suir. The older sister's level was still low, and she had more important matters at night. So she needed to ask the mentor for a favor. Think of the sun, and there's the ray. Fan Shuir ran to Lu with all her might. I blame myself for not having a high enough level and I can't carry out many assignments." The younger sister sighed. Huh? You're here? I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Lu began to apologize. I was talking to Sun Tianlin. He's a regular student with nothing suspicious. Fan changed the topic. 
We also found out the identities of the previous deceased. I checked them all but couldn't find a pattern. She handed Chen a book. However, Xuan Yuemen might have intentionally concealed crucial information. Not that Fan had eavesdropped, but Lu's words had hurt her a bit, and now she stood slightly turned away from him. They were all at the stage of perfecting their qi or learning the basics. Gu Feng, student, qi perfection, ninth level, Fu Yin, student. Qi perfection, ninth level. Fai Chou, basic study, first level. Wang Defa, cousin of the follower. Basic study, fourth level. Xiao Kuo, second student of Hun Ya, basic study, sixth level, Han Lan, student of Xin Lang. Studying the basics, level six, Chen diligently reviewed the information. Sister Xiao, he turned to Ching Yu, not saying a word, but seemingly trying to communicate with his eyes. It's up to you now. However expressive his eyes were, Xiao still didn't understand. Lu Chen is a fool. He said he would give me a more important task, and in the end, I'm guarding the hall with the deceased. Ching Yu was indignant, but she had nothing else to do. Night descended on Xuan Shuimen. The moon would appear and disappear from the clouds. So, but it's all right. This clearly shows his cowardice. Xiu continued to express her disapproval. Suddenly, both Lit and Li's in the room went out, leaving a bitter scent. This unsettled and alarmed her a bit but drawing her sword from its sheath restored her unwavering confidence. Whoever pretends to be a demon here don't think I'm just a key cultivating nun. She addressed someone hidden in the darkness. Squeak. The coffin lid opened. Thanks to the binding ropes, the coffin closed. A hand emerged from the dead box. Well, it didn't exactly emerge. It shattered the coffin lid. In an instant, a resurrected corpse with glowing red eyes rose, losing pieces of its body on its way to the stunned Ching Yu. This is not like what it was during the day. How could this happen? The girl tried to understand what was happening. With a wild scream, the reanimated corpse rushed at her. It's just a corpse. What can it do to me? Xiao thought, summoning her jade shield for protection. You'd think such a potent spell would disarm the undead opponent. But when it touched the shield, it shattered the defense. No! The energy turned against her, throwing her back. But she held her ground, regenerated, slowed her fall, and stood up. See? This creature has the strength to resist my technique. Nevertheless, she was ready for battle once more. Emitting inhuman sounds from its throat, the corpse continued to advance. Ugh! Monster! Xiao didn't retreat. This time she used a more powerful technique. The art of the Jade Spirit Sword. Suffer! This should definitely put the creature back into eternal slumber. If only... The energies of both clashed, causing a small explosion, and Xiao was sent flying out of the resting building. In the best-case scenario, she would have several fractures and plenty of bruises, and the monster would definitely catch up to her. Fortunately, in mid-flight, Lu caught Ching Yu. For the first time in their entire acquaintance, she was glad to see him. Doesn't what's happening mean that when you can't handle something, your spell dissipates and calls for help? Xiao was a little embarrassed. Not only did she fail in her task, but someone she actually disliked came to her aid. This creature barely knows the basics, I can handle it, Chung assured, letting go of the girl and approaching the monster, which crawled on all fours onto the porch of the bedchamber, looking at them with a mad look. 1. Lu rushes headlong towards him, imitating a dragon. 2. Like a small bomb lands on the creature. 3. A lightning strike is struck, and the creature, having been crushed into a cake, ceased to give any signs of life, sometimes crackling from an electric discharge. The work is finished, Lu said pleased with himself. Ching Yu just remained silent in alarm. It would seem that everything is possible. You can go home, but life is not as simple as at first glance. With a deafening crash, the lids of all the coffins shattered into splinters, and nothing stopped the resurrected corpses from carrying out the attack. It seems that Xiao's life from the moment Ching came to power, began to significantly expand her worldview horizons, because it is unlikely that she would have met such things then. Lu, on the other hand, instead of being surprised, thought of a plan of action. All the corpses will gather in one place, the girl exclaimed in shock, not understanding what was happening. And the dead, yes, crawled one on one, forming an ever-moving mountain, somewhat similar to a lump of rotting meat where corpse worms were swarming with might and mane, and now some creature was already standing in front of them trying to move towards them. Ha ha, it's more difficult than I thought. Lu was even wondering what would come of it all. What kind of monster is this? 
Xiao didn't have enough words to try to describe what it was. These are corpse puppets. The so-called puppet corpses are corpses assembled together using special equipment. As a rule, they are not as strong as they were in life. But such a big monster, a student who cultivates qi or learns the basics, will not be able to resist. The guy explained. You knew all this, didn't you? And still ordered me to guard the hall with the bodies of the dead? The indignant Xiao raged. Calm down. I will protect you. With these words, Lu took out the lightning sword, preparing for battle. Xiao just quietly stepped back a little, giving the professional the opportunity to handle it. During his stay on the border of the clans, Lu managed to exchange philosopher's stones for secret equipment. Then he learned about this creature. In the morning, examining the corpse, he noticed that the dead man had dry veins and Dantian stagnation. These are traces that remain after using the corpse cleansing technique. Dantian is the part of the body located three sun below the navel, the genital area, the place of concentration of forces. Even Yuan Yin during the period could not see this. Dismembered corpses can be resurrected. Lu expected that there would be more than a dozen secret techniques in the secret department, but only half of them are equal to the technique of resurrecting corpses. This technique will need to be tried later, Lu thought in conclusion, standing in full combat readiness in front of a huge monster, 10 meters high. But then the entity began to attack. With a roar, strange viscous blood poured out of the mouths of one solid creature in streams, directed towards Zhao. However, Lu acted as a shield in front of her. This is truly the power of water, he concluded, cutting off the flow of blood that contained energy, thereby protecting himself and the girl. By that time, others had arrived at the scene to help. Brother Lu, are you okay? Feng Shuo babbled excitedly. In addition to all of them, several dozen more well-trained warriors were added to them. What's the matter? Song Tanlin also did not understand what was happening. How can I allow Xuan Shuimen to be attacked? Song Yuan was beside himself with anger. Fury was destroying him from the inside, and he was ready to get involved in a fight, which is exactly what he did. But this was not Lu's plan. Crap. Take him, ordered the founder. He Yua followed his order, stopping the elder, meeting with misunderstanding on his part. However, Song still retreated. Founder Lu, why did you stop me? He did not understand Cheng's decision. Continuing to fight the creature, Lu replied, Master Song, why are you asking obvious things? This corpse has the power of immortality, so why use such a powerful spell? If the plan fails, I'm afraid that there will be no evidence left on Puppet's corpse. At the end of his tirade, he glanced at the elder. I... I was just worried about your safety. That's why I resorted to such force. Yuan tried to explain and thereby justify his actions. Oh, don't worry, Master Song. I have a way to deal with corpse puppets. And so in his words, it was as if he had turned on all his strength within himself. The scar on his forehead began to glow, throwing small bolts of lightning into the world around him. He Yua, lure him into a trap. He asked his friend, the security guard. Eat. He accepted the request. Having finally prepared himself, Lu quickly rushed at the monster. He flew up to most likely one of the main heads of the creature and began to chop with his sword, as if annoying. With a forbidden curse, he began to lead the creature into a trap, adding even more fuel to the fire. Lu continued to strike the entity with his sword using a secret technique. He retreated for a moment, moving to the roof of the building, holding his sword in front of him. Let's! He shouted. The monster rushed at Cheng, hiding what was happening from those present for some time with blood flying from the scene. Founder Lu won't get hurt, right? Song Tanlin tried to cheer himself up. What are you saying? Xiao shuddered. This monster has immortality. Even though there are real people involved, Jiang He began to argue. Brother Lu is fine, Shuer objected to him. And here is the final chord. Lu and He Yua. Thanks to the fact that they combined their forces, were able to overcome the monster and it disintegrated, such one big body into hundreds of small particles. The founder a moment later sank down in front of the stunned crowd. Founder Lu is so strong. Some admired him, like Fan, for example. Others were surprised that such a young man had such strength as Song Tanlin. You are awesome. You have such power at such a young age. I didn't give you enough respect. Song Yuan approached and hurried to thank Lu. Master Song, it's over. Do you think I want to listen to this pointless flattery? The founder interrupted the elder. I know not only the method of killing puppet corpses, but also the reason for the sudden death of a student. His prickly cold gaze was directed directly at Song Yuan. The elder's eyes narrowed. 
Please, Master Lu, explain to us. Song Tanling prayed, almost crying. Chung recalled that at the previous banquet, the youngest son, Sun Yuan, behaved very actively and even managed to disrupt his father's plans, if Lu was not mistaken. I think you should know the reason, he began. What do you have in mind? Tanlin almost attacked him. The so-called sudden death may be considered a mistake in qi cultivation, but in fact, it is not an accident. Because the technique of using true qi can actually be used as a way to turn living people into weapons. In contrast to the information itself, Lu's voice was quite calm. What? Those present shouted in one voice. The special energy produced by true qi flows through the channels, changes the cultivator's body, and absorbs blood and bone marrow. The essence of the cultivator, his blood, and the basis of cultivating true qi will stagnate in the Dan Tian, forming a blood core that will serve as the core of the puppet. When the energy of the blood core reaches its limit, it breaks out, and the host dies. In confirmation of his words, Lu, with a deft movement of his hand, began to raise energy from the pieces of the remaining pieces of the dismembered monster, and showed it to everyone. The blood core is a kind of magical weapon. As long as mana key is injected into the blood, corpses can be combined at different levels at any time. The point of dismembering them is to remove the core and hide the real cause of death. The founder explained the causes of death of former students. However, he you all was extremely surprised by such a monologue, and you are smart, learning the basics, cultivating, who would have thought that you knew all this? His respect for Lu increased. The reason why you are so concerned about this issue is because you also practice this technique, right? He asked those present. How can this be? Song Tanlin could not find a place for himself. I don't know if you will be the next person to be overtaken by death, Cheng remarked, looking at him a little thoughtfully. Can Song Tanlin die? The news was not pleasant. Song Yuan, although he tried not to show it, was a little excited and began to feel and listen to the pulse of his youngest son. Father, can I still be saved? Sun Junior asked with fear in his voice. Shaking his head from side to side, Sun Senior answered, Because of my weakness, I did not notice that there was something wrong with you. He reproached himself for his inattention. And it seemed to me that Master Song had been expecting this for a long time. Lu intervened in the conversation. Founder Lu, what do you mean? The elder behaved somehow strangely. Eminent monk Yuan Ying. How could he not see that this was not a real technique? Cheng wondered out loud. Founder Lu, this is a misunderstanding. This technique is inherited from a father to a randomly selected son and is practiced in secret. I didn't even think. Yuan barely had time to swallow his saliva and spoke quickly and quickly. And you received it as an inheritance from the Styx clan? Lu continued to interrogate, and this was undoubtedly already an almost public interrogation. Song Tanling barely had time to look from the founder to his father. I sincerely hope that his father does not wish him death. Since you allow them to do evil, you should not be surprised by this result. Regardless of who contributed to this matter, he would be responsible for the death of many students, including his own son. Lo remained cool and calm. It must be you, Mr. Song made his verdict after pondering the logical chain and the availability of facts Ching. Tanlin first backed it away, looking closely at his father. Yuan remained sullenly silent. Step by step, Junior Song fell to his knees in front of Lu. Founder Lu, it was me who brought back the evil techniques. What happened has nothing to do with my father and Xuan Shuimen. I will not regret my death, but if you have a solution, please save me, Xuan Shuimen's disciple. Tanlin prayed. Senior Song did not expect this turn of events. People from the Xuan Shui Men side and from the Heaven side stood, so to speak, on the sidelines, trying not to interfere. Lu glanced at the student kneeling at his feet. Ha ha, smiled a little. Why such panic? He bent down, extended his hand, raised Tanlin's head, and wiped the tears on his cheeks with the other. If everything is as you say, then you, like all Xuan Shui Men students, are a victim. It's just a petty evil. I can get rid of it, Cheng assured, rising from the younger Song's lap. This terrible night has passed, morning has come. Of course, this is the best secret cleansing technique, Lu assured, holding the book with one hand and stroking the book with the other. Lu Cheng, can you really cure Song Tanling? Xiao Qing Yu asked. Immediately after her, Fang Shuer asked a question. Do you want to ask my teacher for help? She meant Elder Mu Rongkui. No. The founder shook his head negatively. Now he has the opportunity to assert his authority, 
and he will not allow Mu Creepy to become the boss. Since Chung has a secret purification technique, then he already has a way to eliminate the threat. But, if thanks to the secret technique it is possible to go further, then it will be easier to cope, Liu concluded, leaving one building with his courtier, let's call her retinue, and heading to another building, where they were already waiting for him. People of the Xuan Shuiman clan, have you thought about my words? He asked those present. Founder Liu, my clan did make a serious mistake regarding our official duties, but if you have a solution, then please order. Folded his hands in a sign of greeting, Song Yuan. Fine, Chung agreed. I once saw a magical artifact called the Bright Water Mirror in Wang Tanzong, which was sent by you to Xuan Shuiman. This artifact contains a rare water attribute material, which is similar to the origin of the technique and can lead to a containment effect. If there is still such an artifact in your clan's treasury, give it to me so that I can retrieve the antidote. In this case, it will not be difficult to get rid of hidden dangers by force. Lu presented his demands and explained, You, you, Song Tanlin tried to find words after such a conversation. He Yua even began to fear and theorized whether this child, he meant the founder, could attack Xuan Shuiman's treasury. I dare to ask Master Lu, how to identify such a treasure, Hong Ya spoke up. I need to see with my own eyes, I will feel, the young man explained it. Fan and Ching Yu even thought at first that they had misheard, but then they realized that their hearing was fine. Founder Lu demands too much. Teacher, this must not be allowed. Du Ping, Elder Xuan Shuimen, Yuan Shen of the first level, began to resist. Alas. But Master Hong's students and I also died from the weakness of water technology. How can we leave Song Tanlin to the mercy of fate? Jin Lang, Elder Xuan Shuimen, Yuan Shen of the first level, asked him to shut up indirectly. Master Song, he began to address Elder Lu. Father, it's all my fault, Tanlin asked his father for forgiveness. But Senior Song had already made a decision. Founder Lu, follow me, and he made the decision public. System notifications, ancient artifacts discovered. Can water technology absorb evil doom? These system notifications filled Lu's mind space as he and the elders walked through the treasury. There were so many artifacts, it was beautiful, and Lu was delighted with it. Founder Lu, the elixir of immortality is ready. How much do you need, I asked. Song Yuan. All, the young man answered confidently. Founder Lu will not empty Xuan Shuiman's treasury, will he? Even though Master Song's nephew is the son of the founder and his talent is quite great, is it worth paying such a price? Du Ping became worried. Du Ping, what nonsense are you talking about? Jin Lan ran at him, his eyes flashing menacingly. Now all the students of the clan are in danger. If we can't even save the master's son, how can others rely on us? Decided to stop any objections from Hong Ya. I understand. Lu raised his hand in agreement. I only need the amulet and the corresponding elixir to perfect the antidote, explained the founder. Just wait for good news, Chen said finally. And now, he is already sitting in the Xuan Shuimen Alchemy Hall in front of a huge iron pit, painted with various magical formulas. Using his strength and energy, Lu began to create. Before him lay several boxes, a couple of daggers, several vessels, and in each one at the same time, he was doing something. Next, the guy reviewed his profile in the system. After he absorbed all the water element from the amulet, the evil fate increased greatly. But he received only seven stones. The secret cleansing technique can enhance the effect of the elixir of immortality and cleanse the body. He pressed the button on the panel to add a secret technique. Our hero's body seemed to be covered with a halo of blue color, that is, his inherent lightning energy. A system reminder flashed in front of him. The sign read, Secret Purification Method. Complete the cultivation path to the Zhao Cheng level and obtain the Elixir of Immortality, equivalent to the experience of a master, owner of the Elixir of Immortality. Incredible. He immediately went through the initial stage and reached this level. The founder sat and smiled like a little child. Various images appeared in his mind, as if he really was a master with a hundred years of experience in creating elixirs. And this is exactly what he needed. He threw the necessary objects into the vat, sat down in front of him in the Buddha pose, put his hands forward and began to create the medicine he needed. The feeling of cultivation at this stage was truly wonderful, Lu remarked to himself. Thus, Song Tanling's problem can be solved today, he remarked contentedly to himself. Cheng decided to look at the system again and noticed that he had added 100 doom points. The decision was made immediately. Increase your cultivation level, Lu thought. 
To go to the third level, you need almost 24 points of evil fate. He now seriously lacked it. Ancient artifacts have been collected. Should you rely on the element of the sun to move on, a sign appeared in front of him, which stated that his element of the sun accumulates from three to nine points. He will be punished if he fails to complete it. Lu didn't know what the punishment would be. Heavenly test? Destruction on sight? After all, the element of the sun is very twofold and can no longer be accumulated. He must survive tonight. With his strength, he held the ingredients he needed on his hand. The four medicinal substances of Chingchunji, Aconite of the Millennium, Nine Aromas and the Red Pulp of the Heart of the Earth are the main ones. If his analysis of the secret purification technique is correct, then it is its power that should eliminate the harm. And with the words, Come on! Throwing the ingredients up, he threw them into the vat, then only relying on fate. Song Yuan and his youngest son with the others were waiting for the founder on the street near the medical pavilion, where Lu actually did the manipulations. The sun was already setting below the horizon, but he was still not there. Finally, the doors of the building creaked, and His Highness stepped outside. Lu Sen, Sung Senior, so to speak, was a little glad that he finally came out. Founder Lu, is the purification completed? asked Song Tanlin. Fortunately, Lu held out a small vessel in his hand. This medicine is called Banisher of Evil. Although its level is low, it can solve our problem. I opened the bottle, pulled out the cork, and a small green ball quietly flew out of itself. A tablet. Hmm. Who knows if it's a pill or poison? What if anyone can make it? What if you just crushed and rolled something unknown into a ball? Du Ping suggested incredulously. Enough! Song Yuan interrupted him. Let's find a student who has practiced this technique to test the medicine, he suggested. Tan Ling. Only you know who is doing this, right? Find someone quickly, Song Ya asked. No. The young man objected, although there was a little fear hidden in his heart. However, let me, asked the younger son. Lu did not expect such a reaction, and action from the elder's son, Tan Lin. Yu, Yuan was not particularly happy with his son's decision. This happened because of me. All the troubles in our clan are because of me. So I'll drink it and try the medicine on myself, Tan Lin said. You are worthy to be the son of the clan master. Actually, this is your responsibility. Lu started to like this guy a little. Then you will be the first to experience it. He carefully took the pill with two fingers and handed it to Tanlin's palm. He carefully took it and looked. He was a little worried and he was somehow scared but there was nothing to do. He raised his hand and opened his mouth. Tanlin! His father tried to stop him, but it was too late. Junior Song swallowed the pill. Almost immediately he was seized with convulsions. Veins began to show through on his face. His face became distorted, and the blood vessels on his eyeballs began to burst. Ah! Tanlin shouted. The pain was such that it was impossible to contain it. He grabbed his chest, tearing his clothes. Some unknown energy pulsates around him, a little illumination. Tanling, the father was afraid for his son, tried to help him somehow, but did not know. It seemed as if a demon had taken possession of the young man's body. He curled his fingers, digging his nails into his palms, and finally, blood poured from his mouth, losing consciousness, he began to fall. I knew we shouldn't trust this guy, and this is what you call, I know what I'm doing. Du Ping began to be angrily indignant. Song Yuan could only say, Tan Lin, picking him up in your arms. Lu just stood silently on the sidelines, watching what was happening. Master, hey, what happened? Xiao Xingyu asked him. Song Tan Lin's cultivation base is constantly depleted, and he seems to be unable to breathe. He tried to explain to her. The young man now simply lay like a limp sack on the stone square, leaning his back against the column where his father had placed him. Lu Cheng. I respect Tan Zong as the highest clan and you as a disciple of Lin Yang. But you, you have to explain yourself. Even though Song Yuan's voice did not contain any emotion, his eyes were more eloquent than words. Don't you want to do it? He Yua answered with a question, flashing like a match. His task was to protect his master, so he did this, even though he himself sometimes did not understand his actions. But Lu stopped him with a gesture. Founder? He looked at him questioningly. You will receive an explanation, but I expect the same from you. You should know that this technique hides the shadow of the Styx clan. Clan master, if you value your son's life, why allow him to cultivate if he doesn't know the basics? Ching asked a question. Do you think I could let him practice this technique? Yuan answered the question with a question. This question is related to the secret inheritance technique of the Zhuan Shui Men clan. 
Founder Lu shouldn't ask this, Jin Lang asked a little harshly to close Cheng's mouth. I told you. Yuan looked at Jin, thereby recalling to him some conversation they had. Eh, were you going to give away clan secrets again? Du Ping understood. Tanlin and the junior disciples insisted on trying their best to refine Xuan Shuimen's legacy. As a master, I could not prevent this. Senior son explained his actions. Is this the same as taking pills that do not contain treatment? Your son is truly desperate to go to such lengths for the sake of your clan. Lu patted himself for his role in the play. You, you... Song Yuan tried to find words to express his indignation. Lu Cheng, do you really think that Xuan Shuimen is a traitor? Jin Lan was offended by these words. Song Yuan, don't be a turtle who hides his head in his shell. Du Ping encourages the elder. The head of the clan, begged Hunya. If you allow yourself to insult juniors who are learning the basics, Yuan slowly but surely and accurately began to prepare for the upcoming battle, like a storm that gathers in hot summer weather. How can I tolerate this? His eyes turned into the eyes of a predator attacking its prey. And if it weren't for He Yuan's good reaction and impenetrable protective shield, Lu would not have even had time to dodge from surprise. Sun Yuan is truly angry, and his strength is overwhelming. It is difficult to control. Without he, Founder Lu would not survive, and Song Yuan was unable to break his shield. Many people say that they can't stand Lu Cheng, but they do nothing. Jin Lan, Hong An, why don't you help? Sir Sun yelled for help, and he was just about to attack his guests again, when he heard a faint, Father. In an instant the storm calmed down and the clouds parted. This is how Song Yuan's change of emotions and feelings can be described. Tanlin? flew up with the speed of the wind to his youngest son. Tanling, are you okay? Sun Junior began to feel and examine from all sides, not believing his eyes. Father, I'm fine. The youngest son assured his dad. Song Tanling, how are you feeling? Lu asked how the guy was feeling. Founder Lu's pill really helped. The evil force that had stagnated in the Dan Tian has truly disappeared. The young man was really glad that not only was he alive, he was also absolutely healthy. How is this possible? I was waiting for the monk Yuan Ying, who would provide real help. How did you manage to do something like this when you were just learning the ropes? Du Ping was already shouting, completely unable to control his tone. The root cause of the disease is the fast-acting technique that a person uses to cultivate it. And this is nothing other than the period of qi purification. To solve the problem, what was needed was not a strong cultivation base, but the right medicine. The true aura, twisted by an unknown technique, is like a poisonous snake rooted in the human body. I created a tablet and refined it, making it so powerful that it could burn a core. This is equivalent to a fire in the Dantian. The pain causes people to faint and the true aura decreases. But after the threat has passed, it is necessary to restore breathing in order to recover from the pain. Master Song, this is the explanation you need, Lu said, holding out a container of pills. Thank you, Founder Lu, and I ask you to forgive me. Yuan bowed before him and took the vessel. Two clans, yours and mine, are connected by the same chi. Master Song, you shouldn't act like this. Now that the pill has proven its effectiveness, I think it's worth inviting other students who have practiced this technique to save them from danger. The founder announced, teaching Yuan a lesson. I'll go get it. Tanlin took this order into his own hands, taking the wonderful pills in the vessel from his father. I knew Brother Lu was the best. He did it, Fang Shua rejoiced. No, I'm afraid this is far from over. Lu sighed bitterly in his thoughts. An hour later, the younger Song appeared in the living hall, with the elders and guests in a hurry. Founder Lu, the students who practiced the technique with me disappeared, he told everyone, and then stood there, catching his breath. What a coincidence. Lu jumped up from his seat. And yet, I heard something, Cheng noted to himself. First the destruction of corpses, and then mass disappearance. How could this be done in such a timely manner, if no one had yet managed to spread the news? Things didn't go according to Lu's plan at all. Xuan Shuiman, Sticks clan. Something strange is happening everywhere. In the past few days, the founder relied on Heiyue's protection to test his resolve and only use the system's prompts. I want to leave again, Master Heiyue. Don't let anyone bother me, Chung ordered, heading towards the exit. Understood, assured the bodyguard. Small lightning flashed far in the sky. The wind was in full swing, playing with the foliage of the trees. There was no sign of the sun. This place is more than 10 miles from Xuan Shuimen and cannot be detected. Lu didn't know if he could resist now if he used the element of the sun. He stood in a small clearing, taking out his sword and concentrating. And now, he is ready. His eyes sparkled, and the sword played the role of an antenna. A few seconds later, 
lightning formed right above him, not like everyone else. It was different from the others, color, size, power, and struck Lu's sword, connecting together at the tip. This is bad, Cheng flashed through his thoughts. He began to realize that something was not going as planned. The sword could barely hold up, forcing the owner to hold it as tightly as possible, pressing his feet into the ground and thinking about how not to fall now. Lu was under great tension, trying with all his might to withstand it. System notification, the sun element is about to be summoned. A small pulsating spark began to move along the lightning, magnetizing the rest, not so strong, but larger lightning. Lu was already standing in a huge flow of energy. Around him here and there on the ground, there were dents from the rest of the lightning. The sword gradually began to crack, and finally it shattered into pieces. One of the pieces passed quite close to the scar above the left eye on Lu's forehead. Ah! Our hero shouted. There was a lot of condescension. He almost didn't control his body anymore. The flow of energy only became stronger. But finally, he disappeared. Live. Live. Survive. Lu lay on the ground completely exhausted. He had practically no clothes on anymore. They were burned. He himself was now bruised and all dirty from earth and ash. And above him the system unfolded on its own. And the founder silently looked into it. System notification. You have passed the test. Accumulated three points. Evil fate 15. Well, of course, the lower level magic swords were destroyed. The power of the element of the sun is actually very powerful. If it weren't for the fact that this time the element of water was used to increase the cultivation base, Chung was even afraid to imagine what would happen next. In the future, he will not accumulate too much sun element, only as a last resort. While the lesson was learned, L began to gradually rise, putting himself in order. I changed my clothes, put them away in a rag and washed myself. Even though this place is far from Xuan Shui, the sound was very loud. Better to be careful and not stay too long and hurried back. The weather was wonderful. Birds were singing, the sun was shining, and from time to time clouds passed across the sky, giving the world a little break from the sun's heat. Lu sat in the Buddha pose on a block of stone near a small stream, meditating, exercising, and cultivating. When he began to come to his senses, he suddenly noticed that dawn had already arrived. The wound on his body was also almost healed. Lu remembered the system and opened the panel. Three elements of the sun, plus the points gained by absorbing the element of water. He was only one step away from the basics of the third level, so he had already saved a year of intense training to increase strength and clicked on adding second level foundation cultivation. This visit ended quite well, although the secret technology spoiled a lot of things. But now it seems that it is not so simple. Xuan Shuimen is, no matter what, a worthy cultivation clan, and there's nothing wrong with killing a few low-level students, even if the Styx clan is involved in this. He will not back down and will achieve his goal. At first, Cheng thought that Yuan Zhanghai did not believe in his abilities and asked to accompany him to test him. But deep down, the founder felt that something was wrong. This incident may just be an accident, but regardless, there is a lot involved. Lu got up from the stone and began to walk a little nervously through the forest, taking a deep breath of fresh air. If this is truly the Styx clan, then they are acting too small. Puppets. Spoiled training. Traitors. The founder had a bad feeling. He must solve the problems in Xuan Shuiman as soon as possible in order to continue to improve. But suddenly some small detail brought him out of his stream of thoughts, as if a strange fly flew somewhere in the distance, but very close, thereby annoying him. He hid, became lower than the grass, quieter than water, if you understand what I'm talking about. Without noticing Lu, a masked man in a cloak flashed past him, disappearing into the shadows of the trees. Who is this? rushing at such a low altitude in such a deserted place together. It looks quite suspicious, and this mask is on him. Could he be a member of the Styx clan? I have too little strength. The transition to a new level has weakened my body, but I have to keep up with it, thought the founder and skipped after him. After some time, it seems the man arrived at his goal. High in the mountains stood concrete doors without locks, without handles. He approached them, dropped a little a couple of meters away, caught his breath, walked up quietly, touched the doors with his hand and they opened, letting him in, and they slammed shut when he walked past them. Hiding in such a remote place, who is this person? Lu wondered. Come out of your hiding place. He walked up to the doors and touched them, but they didn't open. Then Chung decided to act using the invader's method. He put in very little effort and the concrete doors, like glass, shattered. With the grace of an invisible cat, he began to slowly walk forward, inside. Slowly he began to hear someone's voice and followed it, hiding on the side at the beginning of the room corridor, starting to eavesdrop. Brother. This time it was our fault. I didn't expect that my level 5 puppets would be so easily defeated by a child. In any case, it was an unfinished technique, 
and could not be used despite the cultivation base. She's not that good anyway. What about the other disciples who practiced blued sacrifice? Figure number one, also in a cloak and mask, begin the conversation. Don't worry, big brother. After Lu Qing made the antidote, I realized that the situation was dire and immediately lured them all out of the clan and took control. Figure number two answered him. Bloody sacrifices? Is this an evil force? So they literally stole those students? Do they really plan to continue to commit such disgusting acts? Cheng was surprised at how dark the souls of these individuals were. A. Was the antidote really perfected by this child? Asked the first one. Yes, those two personally told their younger brother. They were surprised when they got there. The second confirmed the rumors. Those two? Lu had more and more questions. The cultivation technique that took so much effort to develop was actually hacked by a level 1 cultivator. But it does not matter. This whole situation was originally supposed to attract their attention and make them mistakenly think that it was all about the Styx clan. Now let's wait for the opportunity to attract He Yua. We will then take steps to impersonate the Styx clan, continued figure number one, while the second listened to him attentively. Even though Lu did not see the faces of these people, but listened, his impressions of them were not very good. Our main goal is to get rid of Lu Cheng. The last phrase took the founder by surprise, forcing him to hold his breath for a few seconds, digesting what he heard. Final goal? I? No, he didn't expect this. Whatever they plan, I don't care. This is a rare occasion when it's just the two of them here. I cannot wait any longer. I have an advantage, Lu decided. He carefully looked out of his hiding place and quietly ran on tiptoe towards the two men. And only when he was already behind them did they notice him. He immediately killed the second one, first hit him with all his strength right in the face, and then directed a stream of energy at him. First one, Lu summed up with satisfaction. But with the second, it was not so easy. Lu Cheng? Well, the first man in the cloak didn't expect to see his target here either. Wow, did you recognize me at first sight? Have you seen my portrait or have we met? You just mentioned that I am your ultimate goal. Can you explain? Tried to establish contact with the enemy, Lu. What a surprise. Looks like you're alone here. We worked so hard, and you came on your own. You are running towards certain death. He 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 he. It looks like he received an award for his services. The stranger drawled contentedly. It seems that everything that happened in Xuan Shuimen was intended for me? The founder continued to ask. There is no need to know so much for someone who is about to die. The man avoided answering. After death, you will go to hell. He wished his own, as the man considered the victim. Rather quickly pulled out his sword and attacked the young man. However, he decided to save his strength and dodge the attack for a while, capturing the enemy's sword with the help of his energy, forcing him to disobey his master. A. This. What kind of technique is this? I hear thunder. This speed and power. This is far from the second level of the basics, the man noted, holding the sword with both hands. His level is not low, at least seventh. If I want to defeat him, I must use all my strength. Lu began to think over a plan of action, and as if by agreement, the wallpaper rushed at each other. And then, the crucial moment and they both missed each other, and missed their opponent. Lu decided not to waste time while he was turning around, managed to fly up to him and swing. But the man managed to put a protective shield in front of him. Founder decided to use the technique of immortality. Perhaps his opponent was stronger than him in some sense, but certainly not at that moment, because he tumbled a couple of times in the air and flew away. How is this possible? His speed and power are better than mine. Of course. He heard that Lu was a fairly strong guy, but he didn't think that he was stronger than him. Chung continued to advance, and now the stranger no longer tried to attack. He tried to defend himself, dodging the blows. Are you really the founder of the second level? He asked the founder, clutching the sword that had just helped him fight. Lu replied, the real one. He said this and proudly threw back his head. Good, good. I really underestimated you before. You are a worthy descendant of Zhou Lingyang, however, that's all. Now you will know the gap between us, and you will never be able to overcome it. The stranger pronounced his verdict, but even as he believed before the death of his victim, he did not consider it necessary to take off his mask. Now in his hands was a hammer as tall as he was, a magical weapon of the spiritual level. Well, this test for Lu became more and more difficult. He was in a stupor, so to speak. He didn't even know what to do, and his opponent was already attacking him with all his might hitting him with a hammer anywhere, trying to hit Lu, but he only managed to dodge. This weapon is only one level superior to Sister Xiao's mid-level spiritual sword, but it was surprisingly very powerful. Dodged again, 
and you are very fast. But if you think that you can escape this way, you are mistaken. The enemy assured the founder, attacking him again and again. I can't fight now. The young man made a decision. With all his strength, he began to run away, jumping out of this damned place like a bullet. After this, the stranger did the same in pursuit of his goal, jumping out of the cave into the mountains. He swung his hammer so hard, the cave will need a long restoration. Where are you going? The man screamed, once again swinging at the guy. Immortality technique! Come on! He prayed in his heart, trying to summon Lu's technique. He put the sword in front of him, and the two weapons came into contact with each other. The two energies began to resist. But Cheng noticed a dragon signet on the head of the hammer. And this news contained valuable information that again surprised the founder. He decided to turn on his shield in defense, but there was a reaction, and he, punching through tree trunks, disappeared from the scene of the fight. Weakling! The stranger smiled at Shidna, hurrying after him. The power of a first-class weapon is beyond my expectations. It is impossible to fight. The young man tried to rest a little, but it didn't work out. Lu Cheng, gotcha. I saw where you ran. However, luck was probably on the Founder's side because he survived again. Damn it! Calm down! Calm down! We need to increase the distance and think about the strategy. The young man tried to set himself up positively. Ah 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 ah! The more you resist, the more enjoyable it will be to kill you. Run! Run! The man stimulated his victim. He spun around quickly in his place, spinning the hammer and launching it now with unprecedented force at our hero. The weapon landed, leaving a huge dent in the ground, causing the ground to crack into huge pieces. Dodged again? The stranger was surprised. Lu managed to hide, but not for long. His only low-grade sword was destroyed. Now he cannot confront the enemy face to face, apparently he will have to resort to the power of the Founder's tablet, hoping that it will hold out. He took it out, fingering it in his hand, as if turning it on. Slowly she began to rise into the air at the level of his face. The Founder's Tablet still contains the mana that Zhou Lingyang put into it. She can still call upon the power of heaven. Lu hoped she would help him. Lu Cheng, don't dodge. You can't run away anymore. Child, come out and die. I can spare your family. The stranger mocked him, tasting his victory. Crap! We need to hurry up. Faster! Lu concentrated as much as possible and focused on the board. Soon she began to shine. Small lightning bolts began to emanate from her. The stranger saw this energy behind the block of stone, which betrayed his enemy. Where are you? And headed towards him. Don't do anything stupid! Although the stranger understood that asking a person to go out to meet his own death was stupid, he continued to amuse himself. The founder was intensely busy with his work. Today you will not leave! The stranger promised the guy. Faster! Faster! Let's! Lu prayed. And then this happened. The tablet was activated. If last time the role of the antenna was played by the sword, now it played the role of the antenna, receiving a huge flow of energy into itself. The power of heaven, what else can you say? Dragging the hammer behind him, anticipating his victory, the stranger stopped. This... What is this? And then the block of stone that separated him and Lu began to crack, falling apart into smaller stones, the power of heaven shone. Cheng flew into the air above the stranger. It's you! Who won't leave? Cheng said quietly but authoritatively. The cat wanted to catch the mouse but did not understand that it was a rat. That's how else you can describe the situation. Night fell on Xuan Shuimen. Somewhere around the time between 11 in the evening and 1 in the morning, the door of Lu Cheng's residence quietly creaked. The founder tried to be as stealthy as possible by dressing all in black and wearing a mask that covered half of his face. After looking around to see if anyone was watching him, he carefully walked out. He created a small rogue next to him. Either he jumped from the road to the wall, or from the tree to the roof from a great distance at great speed. This in fact could be called a flight, accompanied by a dull, barely audible sound of falling. He Yue in the wing of the building had not yet gone to bed, practicing for the night. The sound caught his attention. Lu Cheng? Why did he come back so late? He became wary. Well, let him go. He continued to meditate under the stunning aroma of incense. And only a few hours later, around two to three hundred o'clock in the morning, Lu returned. He turned to the full moon, looked at it and said to himself, 
everything will be decided in time by the meeting. Since VV decided to kill me, then you definitely have a huge appetite. Lu turned away, pleased with himself, and went to his bedroom. In the morning there was a little fog and soon everyone gathered in the living room. Everything was peaceful and calm for the time being. Song Yuan could not stand it and knocked loudly, putting the cup on the table. Founder Lu, could you please explain yourself? And turned in his direction, expecting a response. He Yua prepared for a possible future attack. Hey hey, you are just an old man who can't handle anything. We are here to help you, that's obvious. Or do you still doubt us? Sister Fang Shui began to fight back. Yes, your clan has lost more than a hundred followers in recent days, and we offer our condolences. But, Master Song, aren't you being too rude? Zhao Qingyu supported her. That's right, that's right. Big Sister Xiao is right, Fan continued. Jin Lan and Hong Ya silently looked at each other. Hmm, there are topics that we didn't want to touch on. But the situation is compelling, so I'll tell you something, Jin began. Master Lu, it has been a long time since you arrived in Xuan Shoyman to investigate the sudden death of a student. There is practically no progress, and the clan students are disappearing one by one. You swear again and again that everything is about to be resolved. But it only gets worse. Sorry, but is this also the result of the fact that you forbid Tan Zong to interfere? Tried to bring the founder of Lan to light. Isn't it Master Lu who saved us? Why are they? Song Tanlin wanted to intervene, supporting the guests, but did not dare. Yes, Elder Jin's words are reasonable, but let me speak too. After Jin Lan, Hong Ya decided to speak out. Master Lu, if you really don't have the ability to conduct a serious investigation, please go back to your place. We will not bother you about the situation in Xuan Shuimen, he asked Cheng in a soft, direct text. The situation became tense, and he slowly began to take up positions in case of an attack. You, you, Ching Yu and Shuer did not agree together breaking off in mid-sentence. Lu, having finished the meal, finished her wine, put the cup on the table, cleared his throat to himself and continued the conversation. So, tell me, isn't the idea of the deputy head of the Hong clan also Master Song's idea? Yuan silently glanced at him and immediately switched to watching the others. Founder, why do you doubt? I have long been disappointed in you. You are an ordinary young man with a second level. You put on airs all day, but in reality, you're good for nothing. I think sending him back is the best move. Du Ping was indignant. Master Lu, you saw it too. It's not that anyone in Song has doubts about the benefits your visit, but that Xuan Shumen does not receive you. Yuan slightly modified and explained the above words of his colleagues in a different way. Understand us and please come back. I will thoroughly investigate the matter in Xuan Shumen, he assured the founder. Master Song, have you thought well? We do our best to help you, Xiao interjected into the conversation. That's right, that's right. Sister Fan supported her. Elder Du, show your guest off, the order sounded. Please, what else are you waiting for? He sent the guests away. Brother Lu, say something, rushed to her respected brother Suer for help. Xiao Xingyu also expected some reaction from Cheng. He stood up and clapped his hands in agreement. Good, good, Song Yuan, remember every word you said today. Hope you don't regret it in the future, he said goodbye to the elder. Let's leave, and defiantly left along with his court retinue. When they were almost no longer visible, Fan turned around and even stuck out her tongue at them. Dad, are you really... Will you just let Master Lu leave? He saved the student's life. Tanlin hurried to his father, shielding Lu. If he doesn't leave, he will continue to muddy the waters here. He answered his son a little angrily. Yes, I understand. Tanlin left. Well... Business is over for today. Hong Ya, Jin Lan, and Du Ping continue to investigate. Our clan's disciples can't wait any longer. He let the elders go about their business. Yes, master, they answered in unison. But somehow, strangely, they answered that. Even Sun Junior turned to look at them. But he didn't have time to notice Hong Ya's smug, confident look. Um, will you summon the water dragon again? Fan was cheerful as always. No, let's go on foot and rest. Lu suggested, in a voice that did not tolerate any objection. A. Shall we rest? Fan was a little confused. Are we really going to leave Xuan Shuimen alone? This is so terrible. My older brothers will definitely laugh at me. The retinue continued to think. Don't worry. Everything is just beginning. The founder confidently walked ahead of everyone. Sister Xiao, what does brother mean? Shuer asked her friend. 
How should I know? Ching Yu answered her. He deliberately walked on foot, deciding to neutralize the dragon. What is he waiting for? It seems that he will actually continue to monitor the situation in Xuan Shuiman. And what did he do last night? He Yua was only thinking about this as he walked along the road behind them. Lu Cheng in front, behind on Xiao Shen Yu's right shoulder, on Fang Shui'er's left shoulder, behind everyone. He Yua was concluding this small company of people. Suddenly the sky began to become cloudy, raising the wind. Eh? Why is it getting dark? It will be raining? The guys wondered. Everyone except the founder. Meanwhile, the sky was rapidly darkening. Cheng observed all this, mentally preparing for the future. Looks like the show is about to start. Moreover, the wind that had already begun was moving the branches of the trees, but he managed to notice the flashing silhouette of a man in a cloak, and realized that this man had not come to them for good. The moment the silhouette threw knives towards the group, aimed at Lu. If it weren't for Yua's wonderful reaction, I'm afraid to imagine what would have happened. Are you okay? He turned to the founder, holding the collected knives in his hands. Yeah, okay, he answered. And now hundreds of knives were already flying at them, but thanks to the bodyguard's technique, not one of them reached its target. Few people resort to such tricks. Show yourself, he wished, and his wish came true right now. Not bad, not bad. Hongya clapped his hands contentedly. Master has definitely achieved his glory. I did not appreciate you, he stepped forward, followed by dozens of corpses puppets with distorted faces. Hongya? Xiao did not expect an attack from the elder, the puppets behind him. Could this be the missing Xuan Shui Men disciple? Fan suggested. Lu and He Yua silently looked at each other, understanding each other at a glance. It seems like you were the cause of the incident in Xuan Shui Men this time. Why are you killing your own students? He asked the elder. What's the difference? The original goal was to lure you, but I didn't expect you to be such a strong master. Everything changed in the blink of an eye, Hongya explained in one phrase. His target is Lu Cheng? The puzzle in Yua's head gradually took shape. Are you doing this on the orders of Grand Elder Wang Tanzong? I'm curious, what did he promise you? The founder asked Hongya. What? Elders, he. Xiao's life did not prepare her for this. Ah, uh, Sister Fan did not leave her side. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you really think that Zhang He died at your hands, right? Did you learn this from him? As for the benefits, he promised to kill Song Yuan and help me become the head of Zhuan Shuiman and help me become the head of Xuan Shuiman. But the only way to get a reward is to get rid of you. Who can... He snapped his fingers a couple of times. Refuse this. In front of the guys now stood. Not the kind elder who taught the students and wished them the best, but a man who in order to achieve his goals, namely power, would do anything to achieve what he wanted. Attack! He ordered the puppets, and they obeyed him and began to attack the guys from all sides. There were so many of them that they began to grumble among themselves, forming with their bodies a huge dome in the middle of the clearing, covering their target, the guys. But he would not be a master of his craft if he could not protect his people. Just a couple of movements and they, like midges, scattered in different directions without ever rising. Hongya, don't you think it's too stupid to pit these handful of losers against us? Irony was heard in the bodyguard's voice. Right, Cheng chimed in. According to those guys, a lot of time was spent on these puppets. Are they really being used as cannon fodder? Haha, <laughs> the elder laughed. Don't worry, this is just a warm-up. How dare I be so disrespectful to Master He, the holder of the ninth rank. In his hand, with the help of magic, he held small boxes. There were nine of them. Throwing them a little higher, he said, You are suffering. In the blink of an eye, these boxes were not too high, but rose into the sky and became simply large, human-sized. This something was another surprise for Lu and his friends. The boxes were somewhat reminiscent of coffins, only they were all patched up and patched up. Try this! Hongya suggested to the guys, pleased with himself. With the stress, holes began to appear in the coffin lids. The first hand, the second, the third, began to appear, widening the holes. And now, with the market, they began to completely emerge from the coffins. This, the fused puppet corpses we encountered a few nights ago? Ching Yu didn't expect to meet them again. Although the body size is not as big as before but the pressure is stronger, I'm afraid they are at the Golden Dan stage. Lu tried to explain what was happening to the others. Nine corpses puppets of the Golden Dan? How many students did you sacrifice for this? Xiao was horrified by the elder's cruelty. Ha ha, 
a little around 3,000 disciples at the fourth foundation stage. Almost 30% of the junior disciples of the Zhuan Shuiman sect are here. Plus, I caught every random person practicing a hundred miles around. I've spent so much effort, and I hope brother he doesn't think I was messing around. Hongya smiled, satisfied with himself. But it didn't look much like a smile, more like the grin of a hyena. The first attack of the puppets was repelled, but it was followed by a second wave, breaking everything in its path, approaching its target. Enough. What you did was pointless. Do you think there is a difference for me between a foundation and a golden dan? Hu asked while holding the puppets, taking out her spiritual middle magic treasure. An earth-level weapon. Your actions are terrible evil. And began to interrupt the puppets. You're annoying. And then, it was even difficult for everyone to determine where he was now. Exploding at the speed of light, the sky appeared. And then I threw a stone down after the corpses. The weather was raging, and the sun was out of the question. A huge wind blew up in the clearing, almost blowing the boys off their feet. Hunya was watching what was happening from above. In some parts of the clearing, small fires were now gradually lit on the sites of the corpses of the now completely dead puppets. Hunya, the puppet corpses you put so much effort into creating have turned to dust. It's useless. If you have any other tricks, use them all at once, said the bodyguard. Useless or not, you will soon find out. He decided to leave the guests in the dark, forcing them to guess what would soon happen. While he was flying in the sky, stopping above his guise, parallel to the enemy, some kind of purple energy, magic or something, began to rise in the forest, approaching him. A couple more seconds, and they formed a closed dome on top of it. What? What's going on? Began to worry about bodyguard Xiao. Death shadow leg ceiling formation, Lu explained, horrified by what he himself was saying. Death shadow leg ceiling formation. What is this? She barely had time to ask Ching Yu. I saw it in the Heavenly Sect's book. This is a devil formation, no threat to life, but the ability to lure the enemy into a trap is very strong and almost impossible to escape from. If he really can't get out, we can only hope that the other team can arrive a little in time, explained the founder. Ha ha ha. Their mutual enemy laughed again. Boy, corpse puppets are just a blindfold. And this is the main thing I have prepared for you, using the power of thousands of low grant students as a basis. This will be enough to cage you for half an hour. Hongya thought he had done a great job. He tried to get out using a spiritual weapon, a small axe, but the energy magnetized him to himself and the bodyguard was left without any weapons. It's true that the defense is very strong, but this formation is controlled by force, right? You can't even move. What's the point of this? Ha ha ha, master. He. Have you forgotten the purpose of my visit? I'm not here to fight you. He turned to Yue. Besides, I didn't say I was alone here. The elder clarified. But this will be more difficult, thought Lu. Lu Cheng. Get out of here. Run. He ordered his master. The founder has to need to retreat. But it was not to be. It is too late. The man who joined them thought that it would be quite fun to please the guys with his appearance. Cheng seemed to have become accustomed to being surrounded by traitors. However, he didn't expect another elder. Jin Lan. Everyone looked at each other in bewilderment. Ha ha, die you little bastard. And Jin directed a flock of daggers and knives flying towards Lu in the direction of Lu. Lu was already preparing to repel the attack, but a silhouette ran in front of him with lightning speed and, looking closely, the traitors of Xuan Shiman were not happy to see him. Ah! You? Unlike Jin and Hongya, Xiaoxia was pleasantly surprised by their appearance. Finally they came. Lu exhaled, delighted at the help. How are you? Du Ping? Ill-wishers could not believe their eyes. Just in time. Boy, are you in luck? The elder stood under them all in all his glory. This is Du Ping. How did he end up here? Hongya was still recovering from the appearance of someone whom he did not expect to see here. And me too was heard behind him. Sun Yuan stood behind him in person. Without wasting a minute, the elder pounced on the traitor, punching tree trunks head over heels and leaving furrows on the ground. Ha! You? Why are you here too? Deputy Minister asked Yuan. Hongya, you are a traitor who eats the body from the inside. If Founders Lu hadn't told me about you last night, I would still be blindsided. Last night, I discussed this with Founder Lu, 
and staged today's play to lure out your accomplices. Elder Jin, I really didn't know your intentions. Sun expressed in a more or less ethical form everything he thought about them. So this is what Lu Cheng did behind our backs. And this is why he returned so late yesterday. He Yua understood. How, how could this happen? Has our plan been revealed yet? Jin was horrified that their intentions became known to everyone. Look, sister, brother Lu really has a plan, Shuer happily told the girl. So everything was built by Lu Cheng. He actually found out the truth about Xuan Shuiman himself. Is the difference between me and him that big? Xiao Qingyu thought a little sadly. Hong Ya, how did they know about the plan? You said the plan was foolproof. I really regret believing your bullshit. Do something. Jin Lan attacked his accomplice. Hun Ya silently approached him. Well, there is another way. He tried to please his partner. Which, Jin had already begun to think that this situation was hopeless for them. And after speaking the words, he tried to grab onto them like a drowning man at a straw. Instantly, Hong Ya struck Lan's hand directly at the Dantian. And with the pushing of his power, his hand began to pierce Jin's body. To say that those around were shocked is to say nothing. Another second, and he pulled out a small copy of him from Jin's body, about 20 centimeters long. He was horrified by what he thought his friend had done. It's gotten to the point where we can only break the barrier. Jin Long, let me use your spirit to perform a secret technique. Don't worry. I promise you that nothing will happen to you, and I will make you a vice master after the job is done. The deputy master explained the only way out. Hong Ya, you monster, screamed the small copy of Lan. Wait a minute, Hong Ya. We can come up with another plan. But Hong Ya did not listen to him. Ah, no. Jin's last words drowned in Hong Ya's throat. Damn you! But he just burped contentedly. Ha ha! Energy fills my body. He already believed that he was stronger than all the elders and masters gathered here. How dare he secretly practice such evil techniques? Song Yuan was indignant. His strength has indeed increased greatly. It seems that he will soon reach the pinnacle of the Yuanying realm. But this should only be temporary, he said. Lu Cheng, along with Fan and Xiao, Stay away from here, he asked his master. Fine, the founder agreed with him. Sister Xiao, Sister Fang, let's leave. He grabbed the girl's friends, flying away with them. Ho, oh, okay brother, Fan, only managed to say. The air near Hongya was heating up, just a little more, and there might even have been a fire. It was so strong. Let's figure it out quickly, Yue suggested, being the first to rush into battle. And Lu and the girls kept flying and flying, moving as far away from this damn place as possible. But then something unusual began to happen to Xu Er. She sighed quietly, as if preparing for something. Now we are far enough away that no one will be able to feel it. She turned to Xiao with a strange and ominous smile. Feel it? asked Qing Yu. Yes, and no one will understand what is happening here. This was another betrayal that day. Lu, at this time, lost in thought, thinking about something of his own. I don't pay attention to the girls. Lu Cheng, carefully, Xiao called out to him. But the founder was so immersed in his thoughts that he didn't even pay attention to his sister's phrase. With all the speed inherent after many, many years of training, Qing Yu rushed towards the founder, blocking him with her body. And then the blow hit her, and not Lu, as Fan had intended. Now on her beautiful, beautiful, healthy young body, from the right of the shoulder to the left thigh, cutting through the entire chest and stomach. There was a wound from which blood gushed out like a fountain. Sister Xiao! Chung picked her up in his arms. Sister Xiao! Sister Xiao! He tried to bring her to her senses. Fan Suer! You! He couldn't get over the betrayal that had happened, not recognizing his kind, cheerful, and most importantly, unenvious sister. And now there was some kind of crazy woman in front of him, and Lu did not understand Fan's plan against him. The sister who in the entire life of their acquaintance had never said a bad word towards him, always spoke well of him, and now tried to kill him. Fang Shuer, what are you doing? He asked her, starting to shout. Meanwhile, Ching Yu was almost losing consciousness. Sister Xiao always fought against Lu Cheng, but at the critical moment you protected him. Shuer commented, surprised that Ching Yu stood up for her master. Sister Fan, why did you do this? From anyone. But she didn't expect this from her. Why did I try to kill Lu Cheng? It is obvious for the sake of the founder's position. Smiling from ear to ear, the traitor explained her actions. Disciple Zhou Lingyan and Disciple Xiao Fengning couldn't believe their ears. I know that you are Mu Rongkui's disciple, but you don't have to make such sacrifices for him. Tried to start a conversation with the girl Lu, who attempted on his life. Heh <sighs> heh. For him, you're wrong. I'm doing this for myself, and took out a magical weapon, plates with sharp tips. I held back for years to take the place of the founder. Who would have thought that the founder would find a monster like you, Lu Qing? I didn't understand it at first. Why did the founder accept a mediocre person like you as a disciple? But on Ascension Day I understood. Shuir began to attack, controlling the plates over and over again. Lu only managed to dodge them, 
balancing while holding Xiao in his arms. But still he managed to hide in the thick of the trees, hitting her in the thick spreading roots of some bush. Ching Yu said, Sister Xiao, bandage your wounds and rest here. He himself flew away along with the spiritual magical spiritual weapon hammer. Lu Cheng, be careful, sister asked him finally. And while one battle between the elders was taking place miles from this place, now a second battle was taking place here, for the place of the founder. Time after time they met in battle, and having received exactly the same damage from their opponent, they separated. You started to worry after I said that I knew your secret, remember? Fan also managed to chat during the fight. Your cultivation level? Advanced foundation creation? Lu asked in response. That's it. That's why I said you're just mediocre. I held back for almost 10 years. I wanted to show my role after the master's ascension and fight to get this place. But I never thought that you would interfere. Today, I will get rid of you. Blows rained down on the founder again. So many people wanted Lu dead, and that made him sad. But he did not give up, and continued to fight. Fan took on the image of a dragon, attacking him a second time. The situation was no better for the elders and Hei Yua either. Hongya called upon the technique of the Phantom Ruler, trying to destroy the opponents, but they survived. And this cost the traitor a large part of his strength, and this attack turned out to be inconsolable. He uses a secret method to forcibly increase his strength. Now the body cannot bear this time, he slowly began to understand. That's all, just die. With these words, he launched his spiritual weapon at Hongya. Lu continued to fight, and had already begun to attack Shuer. After all, he was stronger than her. And now the fan was not attacking, but defending. How is this possible? You are only in the early stages of creating the foundation. I can't believe I'm at such a disadvantage. Fan pouted offendedly. Fang Shuer, I have always thought of you as my sister. I never thought that you would be a scorpion lurking near me. If you give in and seal your own power, this time I will forgive you. But when we return, you will still be punished. Lu began to set his conditions. It's enough. Stop pretending to me. And in response, she threw another spiritual weapon, a sword, at him. But he managed to dodge. It seems that his favorite tactic was to watch someone throw something at him, hoping it would kill him. And at the most crucial moment, he simply moves a couple of centimeters to the side, and the weapon simply flies past him. Do you think it's a good idea to just dodge? Fan smiled, pleased with herself. At first he didn't understand what she meant, but then he turned around and, comparing the speed of the weapon and the trajectory, realized that she was flying straight at Sister Sio. Instantly, he rushed after him, praying for one thing, so that he would have time. Xiao slowly began to move away from what happened to her. However, she didn't think that they might hit her again. Lu decided to resort to the technique of the Sutra of 10,000 Sufferings of Immortality. And when Ching Yu was already mentally preparing herself for what she was about to experience, because she was not able to simply crawl away from this place in a second, the founder managed to grab the weapon with his own hands right in front of Xiao's face. You! Ching Yu searched for words to thank him. Do not worry, it's okay. He smiled reassuringly. Lu Cheng! She screamed behind you. Xiao screamed, but it was too late. Fan quietly approached the gentleman from behind and stuck a large golden dagger into his back, straight into the place where his heart was located. For several seconds, Lu silently looked at the tip of the blade, not fully realizing that he was close to death. But when Fan began to draw her weapon, the young man began to lose his balance, falling to the ground. Ching Yu's heart was torn with pain, because she could not help her master. Zhuer was amused by the fact that the couple lying at her feet had hated each other all their lives, and now they were trying to protect each other. Calling them fools, she promised that today they would definitely die. Fan Shuer, I didn't expect you to be so mean. The wounded man barely spoke out in his heart. However, the traitor had an advantage. She was full of energy. You are still so arrogant. And with these words, she put her foot on his back, making him feel worthless. And that now she is in charge here, and he is just the one who is made fun of. That day you were really watching, and when I met you at night, I knew that something was wrong. But I never knew your true essence. Chung was bursting with anger at that moment in his life. His strength was used along with him. So it turns out that the troubles of that event did not stop. Ha ha ha, yes. But I didn't tell anyone about this. After all, if Mu Rong Kui knew what you were capable of, I would have to die to protect you. Her laughter was hysterical, and the pleasure of anticipatory power was felt in her voice. She was already ready, as the young man had previously believed, to say goodbye to her wonderful friend. Goodbye, Brother Lu. I will miss you. Fan was clearly mocking him. She swung again, raising the blade with her right hand and running her left along her victim's back, choosing where best to strike. 
The great Edahides would have liked the picture before him and would not have hesitated to take out a chisel and stone in order to capture such an unforgettable moment. Lying on all fours, Lu above him, leaning his leg on his back, swings Zur and Xiao in order to stop him, reaches out to her with all his might. And so it seemed that the Founder's fate was predetermined. The verdict had been passed. Death was already here. It is at this very moment that someone is rushing towards our trinity. If the traitor had been more practical and had not uttered her dying tirade for Lu, she would have managed to finish him off. But there is such a thing in the world as karma, and it has already reached its goal. Now Fan, groaning and sighing, was lying on the ground, covered in hundreds of scratches and bruises. The girl could barely turn her head so that she could breathe easier. According to the classics, as you and I already know, in such showdowns the vanquished bleed from the mouth and this fate did not escape her. There's just some kind of excitement. The Founder's number one killer dealt with his number two killer. Hongya appeared in front of the boy and girl as a personal person. Lu Chung, come with me! He hadn't even had time to catch his breath yet, but was already preparing for a new escape. Hunya! The young man wanted to say something, gritting his teeth. But the traitor Xuan Shuiman did not let him finish. Get up! Don't play dead! Jumped up to him, grabbed him by the elbow, lifting him a little and dragging his body behind him. Hunya, let him go! Ching Yu understood that it was stupid to ask for mercy from a person who was serious. But she had no choice. Hong Ya, stop that! He Yua and his support group rushed at great speed like an arrow towards a small group of people. This appearance forced the traitor to hurry. Gathering all his remaining strength into a fist, he rose into the air. He didn't forget Chung either. Unfortunately, the bodyguard did not have time to stop the enemy for a split second, and he and his master disappeared from sight. Master Hei, Lu Chang has been taken away. Save him! Ching Yu begged the arrivals with tears in her eyes, covering her wound with her hands so that they would not switch to her. Damn, I was careless and he ran away. Now, Xiao offered his hand and lamented Song Yuan. He was looking around at this time, wondering where their enemy could have disappeared to. Even his younger sister lying aside did not hide from his eyes. He guessed what had happened, but now everything finally fell into place. He decided to leave this situation without comment for now. Master Song, my duty is to protect Lu Cheng. I will go after him alone. Please take care of my textbooks, the bodyguard asked and entrusted control of the situation to the senior elder. One, Yuan asked uncertainly. Hey, this is not normal. Hong Ya is a traitor to my sect. I'll do it personally. Wanted to take away the right of executioner Du Ping. In principle, he didn't have to try to put pressure on justice, since Yua had already soared into the sky, leaving behind a small hurricane. Damn, this guy's arrogance is disgusting. Ping was indignant, while Yuan was interested in the well-being of the injured student Xiao. She just shrugged her shoulders, let the master help her. Hong Ya and Lu were already so far from the place of the clash between the founder and the student that instead of the sun, the moon was already shining above them, and it was cooler. The elder held his breath and changed different directions. He and the others would not be able to catch up with him for some time. The guy was already flying limply, as he was exhausted and needed help. Hong Ya believed that the young man would not survive, and he himself needed to find a place to recover. Having noticed a secluded place on earth among rocks and boulders, he hastened to descend. On the soft grass, sitting in the pose of Buddha, the elder regenerated. Lu was lying next to him a couple of meters away. Finally, he began to come to his senses, gradually began to feel his temples, massaging and driving away the headache. Hey boy, are you awake? The deputy master interrupted his classes. Honya? In surprise, Cheng stood up on his elbows as if scalded. Don't move. I gave you a blood potion, your injuries are no longer serious. But if you try to escape, I don't mind turning you into a puppet. The man warned me, remaining in the lotus position. I wanted to eliminate him with Song Yun, but I didn't expect so many unforeseen circumstances to happen. I'm not sure what to do, but I think I'll just be killed. I don't think he and the others will have time to catch up with us. The young man calmed his heart with a cold head, trying to find a solution. But Hong Yun's heart beat joyfully. He could do it. It worked. He succeeded, he did it, he reached the foundation, and plunged into the abyss of memories. Just a teenager, he joyfully folded his hands in greeting. Haha, <laughs> well, you deserve to be my student. You have overcome the stage of forming the foundation before reaching 20 years of age. In the future, you can become the successor of my Xuan Shui Meng sect. The master praised his ward. Thank you, master, the young man sincerely thanked. On the contrary, Song, as a brother, you must follow the example of Hong Ya. You are good too, but not as good as your brother. Elder Yuan instructed. Yes, master, he agreed. 
At this time, Hong Ya, with victory in his eyes and nascent arrogance, smiled sarcastically at him, supposedly apologizing for being superior to him. At the first battle of the great tournament, Hong Ya was the only winner. Applause was heard from all sides. He was praised, awarded in general. He became an idol. He continued to work tirelessly, deservedly trying to win his place. He will definitely get the results he deserves. And now the decisive day has come. In the main temple, the elders had to make a choice. And he fell on Song Yuan. To say that this was a surprise for the young man who had spent so much time is an understatement. He was struck by injustice with all his soul and was seriously depressed. Indeed, as a result, his efforts were inferior to the talents of others. And only on the basis of this, they did not hesitate to choose Yuan. I will not obey. The entire essence of Hong Ya opposed the elder's decision. So many years have passed, and such a dishonest distribution of positions still has not let him go. But now, I finally have a chance to return what belongs to me, Hunya thought, grinning evilly and looking towards the guy. The only thing that was required of him was to simply take the corpse of this child to Murong Kui. So his conscience did not awaken in him when he did not allow Fang Shuer to kill Lu. He simply pursued his own goals. He had already made the decision. Now all that remained was to carry out the planned action plan. And he could have done it. But Lu, especially today, was in great demand with everyone. There was a feathered creature in the sky right above them both, somewhat similar to a firebird. Poor, unfortunate Hong Ya. His dream will probably never come true. The young man and the man stared in amazement at something that appeared. In Lu's soul, there was hope for salvation, and Hong Ya hoped that it was just a mistake in the address. Just the appearance of a bird made one fall prostrate before it, feeling its splendor. On the head, closer to the right eye, stood a girl, controlling the beast. Her appearance made me hold my breath. A fourth grade demonic beast cultivator who can be compared to Yuan Ying's cultivator? Seeing the girl, the man became wary. There is someone up there. Now I notice the woman and Lu. She was beautiful. Despite the presence of armor, there was a sense of femininity about her. Are you the head of the heavenly sect, Lu Cheng? The stranger asked. This made the founder feel uneasy. He didn't even know what to expect. Too many people were interested in his personality. With sparkling eyes, the feathered creature began to gradually approach them. Who are you? Lu asked the special one. Come with me and I will answer all your questions. Without waiting for an answer, she extended her hand towards him, using spiritual power. Gradually the guy, engulfed in an eagle of blue radiance, began to rise upward. However, Hong Yan protested, grabbing the founder's hand and preventing him from flying further into the sky, like a balloon. Who are you? You're riding a rank 4 demonic beast. You must be special. The elder planned to slowly draw attention from the boy to himself. This man is the patriarch of the heavenly sect, threatened Hun, trying not to show that he himself had just tried to kill him. But the girl had no time for his conversations. With her strength, she silenced him. Moreover, now the elder himself has the honor of being under the authority of a young woman. Only now, not only did she close his mouth, but now she also did not allow him to move even the tip of his little finger. Be smart and come here. I'll explain everything to you on the way, she said calmly, without using force. Well, except for the one she used to lift the founder up to her. What? Where are we going? The guy protested and denied. Northern possessions. The stranger answered the question asked. Clenching his fist tightly, Hun watched the rapidly retreating bird. Gradually, he began to feel that his body had ceased to become numb, after which he began to turn from side to side, checking whether he was the rightful master of his flesh. Anger filled him so much that he didn't know where to go. His last hope was taken away, and his dreams disintegrated into dust. Who the hell is she? How could she imprison me so easily? Is it possible that she is a great cultivator from the same great sect? The elder asked questions. But without Lu Cheng as an exchange, Hong An does not even dare to ask for help, and he must try to achieve what he wants. Squeeze! Something landed behind the man, slamming him hard. Hunya! Lu Cheng! Came to him through the noise of falling leaves and the wind in his ears. Where is he? He Yue appeared before him in all his glory, trying to slam him at any moment like a bug for an incorrect answer. Damn, this will never end! The scoundrel whined in his heart. The moon was shining. A handful of stars scattered across the sky. A red bird flew between the highest vault and the trees. The stranger stood on the feathered head, and Lu settled on his back closer to the tail. Now you can tell me who you are, right? The young man began to restore the interrupted conversation. My name is Gu Qingyun. You helped Zhou Ling Yang ascend a few days ago, right? The young woman introduced herself and asked a question at the same time. The founder's eyes narrowed in surprise. He thought that until now, only the former founder of the temple, Wang Dafang Shuer, the traitor, had this information. 
Don't be surprised. I know a lot more than you think. With this remark, she seemed to ask him not to be surprised anymore by the knowledge about his private sphere. I came to see you because I hope that you can help me with something. She explained such an unusual arrival in his life. Then she threw him a ring, inside of which there were many sets of clothes. He had to pick one and change. While fiddling with the ring with his fingers, the young man asked, Should I change clothes? He didn't understand what this had to do with this situation. It's right to change clothes. Now you are the new patriarch of the heavenly sect. You should avoid recognizing all sects to avoid trouble. The girl seemed to clarify, but at the same time she did not explain anything. To avoid recognition by other sects? Where is she taking me? Northern Domain? This is the territory of the spiritual sect. Is she from the spiritual sect? Does she want me to help her? Does she want to use me to ascend? In any case, I am too weak to try to escape. I must wait until the chance arises. Lu thought about the situation and made a decision. However, let us take you to the homeland of the Founder, to the celestial sect of the Van Temple, the main hall, and draw a small parallel of what is happening in his domain. Above the bodyguard, the prisoner Hongen, Fang Shuer, and Xiao Qing Yu, towering on a pedestal on three thrones, three elders sat. Hey Yua, did you say that Lu Chen was taken away by an unknown woman? And there is a suspicion that this woman has a combined body stage cultivation. They were interested. That's right, it was all because of him. He himself admitted that he planned the murder of Chen. And he saw it with his own eyes, he also said. He glanced sideways at the prisoner. Why did you order this? Bodyguard Mu Rongkui calmly looked straight into his eyes. Yuan Jianghai and Xiao Feng Ning had just recovered from the news of betrayal in a neighboring sect, when it turned out that most likely a snake was also hiding among them. No, of course, they didn't kiss each other's hands, but they didn't think it would come to this. Nonsense. I will ask Song Yuan about this person later face to face. Not only did his vice president try to harm our patriarch, he is trying to pin the blame on me. How dare he? Rong Kui was somehow painfully calmly indignant. Combination body stage. Is there anyone else who knows about the power of the founder? Are they planning to use it to summon ascension lightning? While here, Zhang Hai's thoughts were hovering somewhere far beyond the borders of this island. Enough! I don't care about Lu Cheng, I'm asking you, Mu Rong Kui. Your student almost killed my granddaughter. Fan enraged, barely able to control herself. Isn't this normal? Besides, I heard that this is just a small fight between the juniors. It's a joke. She didn't fight seriously. The elder shielded his ward, pulling her out of the swamp of troubles absolutely clean and dry. Ching Yu was terribly offended by the injustice. Fan almost killed her, almost killed her master. She did this absolutely out of her mind, purposefully, and here's the result. It was just a small fight. Bullshit. Your student clearly, Fanon continued to insist. I'll make sure she apologizes to her. Rong Kui interrupted her calmly, as if nothing had happened. But our main priority is the mysterious woman who is at the stage of the combined body, the elder said, stroking his beard. What is her goal? He posed a question for reflection to everyone present in the temple. Zhang Hai just silently looked at his colleague on the sly trying to guess what his goal was because he didn't like him more and more. Meanwhile, Lu had already changed his clothes. Well, this was the first time he had an unusual dressing room with such a design. They flew over something between a steppe and a desert. The grass was all yellow. There was a lot of sand. Is this the wasteland? The young man asked his companion. Well, this is the shortest way. Gu enjoyed the views that opened before them, and also exposed her face to the setting sun, so that it would caress her with its last rays. Lu remembered this place very colorfully even after so many years. Together with their friends, at a very young age, over mountains, over rivers, over forests, they flew to their goal, standing on swords and controlling them like snowboards, only in the air. Hmm? What's happening? One of the guys asked a question, looking around in all directions. Brother, our mission is clearly in that direction. Why did we have to take a long detour? Poking his finger in the opposite direction, he turned to the elder Chung. Do you mean that big wall over there? One of the guys clarified. Lu Chung, this place is called the Stagnant Wasteland. This is one of the few restricted areas in our region, and it is inhabited by hordes of Sky Eaters, the elder explained. The Heaven Eater has the strength of a second-class demonic beast. A fourth-grade demonic beast can match the strength of a Yuan Yin cultivator. The middle brother continued the informative story of his older brother. That's right. In our sect, even the Hallmaster rarely dared to enter there. This is my chance. The founder made the decision. After the day he had lived, he was no longer afraid of anything and could not cope with anything. Soon, in the beautiful monastery of Yuan Zhanghai, 
a rather private conversation took place between the elder and Heiyua. The weather was wonderful, but the situation they discussed was not so rosy. So Hongya actually received orders from Murong Kui in this matter, Yuan asked his interlocutor. Well, I saw it with my own eyes, the young man reported. Hong Yai was promised that he would become the head of the Xuan Shuiman sect. He had motives to kill Lu Cheng. It really does seem like his way of doing things. This is exactly what he thought, and no other way after thinking about this event for a long time. It is not surprising that two days later news appeared about the uprising in the Xuan Yu Shuiman sect, when Lu had just taken the throne. I'm afraid that everything was built so that the founder would go there. The elder pronounced his verdict while drinking a cup of tea. Elder Yuan, why do you think so highly of Lu Cheng? You are always asked questions directly. You don't have to know the reason, but Lu is very important to me. That's why I want you to go to the northern region of Cinnabar and try to bring him back safe and sound. The elder drank the entire glass of drink in one gulp. You must be careful and contact me as soon as possible if something goes wrong. I will personally take action, the man promised. And these were not just words thrown to the wind, but a remark from a man who would never give up his words. And in the forest, in a secluded place away from human eyes, another, no less fascinating meeting took place between two people, Hong Ya and another young blonde man. Here are the magical treasures and pills given to you by the great elders, oh. When you leave the celestial sect, you should change your outfit. The blonde gave instructions. Great elder, this, the traitor Xuan Shuiman looked at the ring in amazement. Go to the northern domain of Cinnabar and make sure that Lu Cheng never returns alive ordered the younger man. The great elder promises that if you bring evidence of Lu's death, he will not blame you for your previous mistakes and will help you sit on the throne of the Xuan Shuiman sect. The blonde conveyed exactly the words of the man above him. Okay, Hunya promised. He was confident of his victory. Gu Qingyun and the founder still continued to fly astride the bird. The young woman controlled the creature, and Lu looked around behind her, trying to catch the right moment and the area of the fall. This is the place where the most powerful aura is concentrated. This is it, the young man noted to himself with satisfaction. And I rushed down like a bullet, trying with all my strength to stay behind and land down as quickly as possible in order to hide. But he underestimated the possibilities, as well as the abilities of his mistress savior. And now he is already on earth, full of determination. At the place where he landed, there was a small hole left, from where pieces of clay, sand, and stones flew in a fountain in different directions, not forgetting to also leave behind a heap of dust. Lu, so to speak, turned on his energy, forcing him to fill his body with strength. And lightning emanated from him in different directions, which finding various objects instantly made them into a kind of antennas. Have you ever heard of the existence of Arthropleura, the largest extinct centipede? So something similar began to burst out of the bowels of the earth, only from iron and tens of times more. They resembled something like tentacles that could be controlled. Their heads, which also housed a large mouth with a huge number of sharp teeth, were turned towards the founder, as if expecting orders from him. Hunting time, the young man concluded, preparing for a heavy attack with a strong opponent, after which he soared into the sky, and the worms with a chilling groan moved after him. Gu Qingyun and her pet did not fly anywhere from the place where Lu fell, so they flew above him. Soon the founder rose to the desired height and stood face to face with the young woman. The trip ended up being boring, so I want to add a little fun. The young man explained his unplanned actions, and in the blink of an eye he moved hundreds of meters away from her. Meanwhile, voracious worms were waiting for the bird below, trying to grab and neutralize it at any moment. Gradually, they almost reached her. Gu was tired of this whole circus, and she decided to stop all this childish play. Concentrating, she and the bird rushed down. Her fingers at the tips of which strength was gathered played the role of swords, with the help of which she chopped all the worms in an instant. With a heavy thump, the centipede cuttings fell to the ground but one of the fattest, strongest ones still held on and Ching Yun went straight to her. For her, this problem was such a simple one that she clicked like seeds. Squeeze! And Lu found himself next to them, commenting on the situation. This aura! It looks like you are used to a fourth stage adult heavenly devouring beast. You guys can fight each other, and while you're at it, I'll do my best to get out of here and find a place to hide. He was already preparing, feeling like a winner, to leave this place as fast as he could. But something happened that he did not expect. Your little game is over. In principle, Gu calmly reacted to Chung's prank. Lu had no choice but to sit on the bird with a humble expression on his face and go with the woman on a long journey, flying through the defeated beast and watching a bluish-violet liquid flow out of it, somewhat reminiscent of blood. Yes, birds, a flock of which flew to the battlefield. Don't do these ridiculous things anymore and don't worry. I won't harm you, Gu asked and promised at the same time. 
Even if you are going to harm me, it is unlikely that I will resist in the slightest. The young man spoke. Don't worry. I'll explain everything to you when we get there. Ching Yun once again promised to clarify the situation. As you understand, this whole situation, or rather this whole story, took place in another world, so there were no planes and no faster means of transportation. Therefore, three months later, Lu Cheng and his mysterious savior were still on the road. They sometimes talked, although for the most part they were silent. The young woman observed the views, and the founder most often meditated, improved, studied, let's call it in one word. After so much time in flight, suddenly there was nothing underneath them. The bird seemed to disappear into the air, or rather it began to turn into energy, which Gu's hands sucked into itself. Hey! The young man was indignant, turning to his companion. Could she have at least warned him? We are almost there, said the woman. What are you doing? Why did you suddenly remove the beast? The founder continued to be indignant. We are almost there. We will fly there ourselves. We cannot allow other people to see the pinnacle of the Yuan Yin realm. Ching Yun repeated everything calmly. What does this woman really want? Chung asked himself a question for the umpteenth time over the past few months. He began to get a little nervous. After all, the curtain of secrecy was about to open for him. And so they were in the northern Vermilion region in the Falling Cloud sect. The young lady gave her charge some time so that he could examine the place from above. Is this where we are heading? It's not like there's a big cult. What are we doing here? The young man showed interest again. But then, out of nowhere, a young man appeared right in front of them, most likely a student or an employee. Greetings, Elder Gu. He folded his hands in a welcoming sign and greeted the newcomers. Lu just blinked his eyes silently. He certainly suspected that she would be quite famous, but it seems that the extent of her popularity among people is quite large. A few days ago, the master received news that Elder Gu was returning. I was ordered to wait here until Elder Gu arrived. The sect leader and elders are waiting for Elder Gu to discuss the joint sect competition. The student quickly introduced the course of action. The candle went out, spreading a light smoke in the air. In the conference room of the Falling Sky sect, it was quite light, and the sunbeams were playing with might and main on the ceiling. As soon as Lu and Ching Yun arrived, they were immediately called to a meeting of sorts. They weren't alone there. There also sat various elders, ministers, and above them all, the chief elder. Lu immediately realized that the strength of this woman who saved his life in this world was already the highest achievement. But she is doomed to be the elder of this small sect in this remote place. Could she possibly want to use him to gain more power? But somehow it didn't seem like her. And finally, Qin Mingwan, the head of the Falling Cloud sect, began. Today, Elder Gu returned to the sect, and all of its members are here. Let's officially start discussing the organization of joint sect competitions, he suggested. Master Qin, I have a proposal for you. Ching Yun raised her hand, clearly expecting attention. When all eyes were turned to her, she continued, My disciple Lu Cheng will take the place of Elder Li's son, Ji Mang, and take part in the competition. She didn't just ask if she could change the previously drawn plan, she simply confronted everyone with a fact. Only our hero was not ready for this. Absurd! protested the elder, whose son was so easily and illegally relegated to the background. Uh, I don't agree with this! He almost started screaming, and his son, standing next to him, could barely restrain himself, clenching his fists. Elder Gu, what do you mean? You traveled for two years and then brought a child we don't know. He continued to be indignant. And you said that he would take the place of my student? He had already passed the stage of aggression, and now a slightly hysterical bag was bursting out of him. In the Northern Domains, our sect is the most backward among all sects. Absolutely not angry at such a negative reaction from her colleague, Ching Yun began to explain her position. This competition, held once a century, is very important for our sect. This competition will determine whether our sect can advance further. She reminded of the importance of the competition. This boy's name is Lu Cheng. He is an extraordinary talent. He is my new disciple and I want him to join this competition on behalf of the sect. She introduced the young man to the whole hall. He just silently tried to play along with her, hiding uncertainty and slight fear behind a mask. Nonsense. Competition is very important. The indignant protested again. Elder Gu, Qin Yu Mingguan interrupted his tirade. This guy's name is Lu Cheng, right? First of all, tell us about his background. He asked to introduce his student to Qing Yun. I am Lu Cheng, a Qi practitioner. I have been training for over six years, and this year I turn 18. He walked out into the middle of the hall, greeting everyone at the same time. Clap! The hand of the now satisfied Ji Mang fell on the armrest of the throne. My son Li Man is 29 this year. Also, his skills are the pinnacle of the Falling Cloud sect. 
Right now, his cultivation level is already at the early stage of foundation building. You are an 18-year-old guy. What are your skills? Laughing right in his face, he slightly humiliated the new student Gu. But he stopped short in a moment, making him regret his above words a little. Taking a closer look at Lu, he was amazed, because he had already created the foundation, truly cultivated the foundation. From all sides, there were exclamations of admiration for such a talented child in his youth. Yes, he's really experienced. It seems that his level of development is already close to the middle stage of creating a foundation. Fine. In that case, Ming Wan had already made a decision and wanted to make it public. But that was not the case. Footsteps were heard on the soft carpet. Wait! A young voice interrupted the head of the sect. Indeed. Junior Brother Chen's skills are amazing. I'm not as good as him. Li Manu began his speech. After which he noticed that competitions are not about talent, but about experience. Lu may be very talented, but he is inexperienced in combat. Therefore, if Brother Cheng wants to get a place in the competition, so be it. He is Li Manu, challenges him. If Lu can defeat him, then he will give him this place. The founder of the Sky Island sighed heavily to himself. Another problem that he should solve with his own power. Hurry up, I heard that Brother Li Manu is going to fight with a new student. A small group of girls was in a hurry to be in time for the start of the competition for a participant's place in the tournament. New student. How dare he fight with Brother Li Man. The young ladies continued to talk along the way. Ha ha, in any case, it's a good show. They came to the conclusion when they found themselves at the main entrance to the building. The elders, their disciples, as well as Gu Ching Yun along with the head of the Falling Sky Sect were located on the porch. The two rivals stood opposite each other, awaiting the command. Look, look, Sister Chin, it's him, he's handsome. The one standing in the middle noticed Lu's attractive appearance. What's the point of this? He can't beat Brother Li. Noticed the girl on the right. The third just watched silently, without making hasty conclusions or placing bets. Of course, all three were beauties, but the third was superior to both. Greenish-brown eyes, white-pink skin, one might even say blood and milk, light-brown hair. She was certainly a lovely girl, and also the daughter of Qin Ming Wan, and went by the name Qin Wei Wei. Hmm, what if this handsome guy wins? Suggested the second. How is this possible? Look how young he looks. How could his cultivation be better than elder brother Li Man's? The first one continued to chatter. Since you both agree to this match, we will choose who will compete based on the winner of this match. Qin Ming Wan explained the rules of battle. Both boys did not give any reasons for the unhappy ending. I have been preparing for this competition for years, but at the decisive moment, this man appeared. Li tried to hide his anger, but he didn't do a good job. He lost control of himself to some extent quietly biting his lips and clenching his hands into fists. If you little ignoramus have no vision, then don't blame me. The son of Ji Mang washed his hands in his soul like Pilate before the execution of Jesus Christ. Now. After a short pause, the head of the Falling Sky Sect raised his hand, forcing both young people to get ready. Fight! And the old man's hand dropped. Without wasting a millisecond, Li immediately rushed forward. Such a force raged inside him that when his leg came off the slab, it was smashed to pieces. He decided to kill the founder with a bloody blow. It's coming! At that moment, Lu realized that there was no point in expecting mercy from this man in this brawl. Although Chung did not plan to give up, Manu did not take into account one point. Our hero still had experience in referring to it, used it to the fullest. Using his lightning power taking only one half step, he stopped such a strong energy aimed at him with one blow. The blow hit the Dantian and again the classic of the genre started bleeding from the mouth. The amazement of another impudent person who thought that he was better than Lu, and if the little guy is extremely impudent, then he also has time to think that he also felt sorry for this child, so he decided to use such a weak blow. After what he saw, Ming Wan grabbed his beard painfully. Ji Mang, frightened, shouted out with all his nerves, Li Man! No matter how much the girls discussed the upcoming fight, they still expected that Li Man would definitely win, and not this newcomer. Gu Qingyun stood silently aside, as if showing with all her appearance that she had warned everyone. After repelling the attack, Ji Mang's son retreated a few meters from his opponent. You little klutz. Man said to himself again and again, concentrate in the blink of an eye, and now he attacks Lu again, only this time with a bloody blow from the Shadow Claws. The blow was brilliant. The enemy's gaze should have made the others timid just by looking into his eyes just once, and this power seemed as if just a little more and this place would explode. But Chung merged with a smart guy. And plus, he had such qualities as logic and ingenuity, so he simply dodged at the most opportune moment, moving to the left one step and turning towards Li, 
who was not yet fully aware that he had not achieved his goal at the speed of a cheetah rushed past him. It was painful for the sec leader Gu and Mang to look at the view in the courtyard of the building. Sparks were flying in general there was plenty of light. And at that moment, when Man realized that he had not struck, Chung was already rushing towards him. He rose above him in the sky and was already preparing to strike back. Those present felt that everything was getting quite serious. Oh no, run! The girl screamed in a heart-rending voice, moving away from the balcony railing a couple of meters so as not to get caught. P.S. The phrase was addressed to the founder. Well, as soon as they saw the living handsome young man, they immediately clapped their hands, rejoicing at his good fortune, luck, and blessing of fate. Man could no longer see his opponent, and therefore threw blows by touch, hoping that one of them would hit the target. And then one of them headed towards the students. The first two young ladies instinctively managed to move away, but Weiwei's legs became weak from fear. Closing her eyes, she began to hope for the favor of fate. Immediately getting his bearings, Lu rushed to the balcony like an arrow. An arbitrary explosion, after which seriously frightened people began to run out into the street. Well, this area then required major repairs. There were cracks and deep holes everywhere, and in the place where the biggest clash to date had taken place, it generally felt like an asteroid had fallen there. There was dust, mother, don't worry. Gradually it began to settle and the sparks to go out. When everything calmed down, Weiwei opened her eyes and was surprised to find that she was alive. Moreover, the person to whom she now owes her life turned out to be Lu. How dare you run to save someone in such a situation? So arrogant that he doesn't even care about me. In addition to strength, now the anger in Lee's body is also joined by lifelong hatred of this man. You are ignorant. I'll kill you, the son of Ji Mang promised, muttering the last phrase through his teeth. That's enough. Qin Mingwan decisively interrupted Manu's next attempt to attack the founder. Don't you see that Lu Cheng has shown mercy to you? He slightly threatened the enraged young man. He just remained silent, because he couldn't run into the head of the elder himself. I announce that in this competition, the place of Li Man's original inner disciple will go to Lu Cheng. The decision was made finally, and announced publicly to everyone. Master, this... Mang tried to somehow influence the situation. I made a decision. Mingwan cut him off mid-sentence. Ji and Gu followed the head elder, leaving Li to accept defeat himself. He had never felt such dislike for any person, and did not even know what to do with it. He didn't even know what he wanted at the moment, but he definitely understood that Lu was to blame for this. While the defeated man whined, calling on the gods to sort out such injustice, Qingyun asked Lu to come to her that evening, arguing that she had to explain something to him. And she didn't just ask. She simply sent a message to Chen's head using telepathic ability. He had heard about this before, but this was the first time he had tried this in this life. Your name is Lu Cheng, right? With the grace of a young winch, Qin Weiwei quietly approached the founder and he did not even notice her, thinking about his own, just now. Thank you. If it weren't for you. The girl abruptly thanked her savior. The young man had not been thanked for anything for a long time and he was already unaccustomed to ordinary magical human words. Although he rushed at that moment because he felt that if he didn't make it in time, it would be too late. But a system alert appeared naturally in the guy's mind no one saw him. So the alert text, an ancient artifact, a fragment of cloud water has been discovered. Do you want to pet him? And two answers, yes and no. Cloud water fragment. This news lifted the founder's spirits. You don't need to worry about it. He tried to calm the girl down. Brother Chung, a newcomer to our sect, right? Keep an eye on us. Wei Wei asked with a bow, beginning to be quietly timid in front of such an amazing young man. I would also like to ask you to take care of me in the future. The founder did not lag behind her, folding his hands in greeting. Sister Ching Yu, let's go back, suggested the first girl. Yes, let's go before the master loses his temper. I bet that because you almost got hurt, we'll be punished, picked up the third. Turning towards her friends, Chin pouted pleadingly. Realizing that the girls would now leave this place, he said that the necklace on Wei Wei's neck was very similar to his friend's necklace, and asked to look at it. What? Do you mean him? Chin Mingwan's daughter asked without a second thought. Yes, I am from heaven, and I have a friend who wears the same necklace. I didn't expect to see a similar necklace here. Was it possible that my sister was here too? Lu suggested. As it turned out, this necklace was given to her by one of the elders of the sect. According to Lalenda, he was found in a mysterious place in the secret realm of 10,000 treasures. As if confirming her words, the stone in the pendant began to slowly glow. The secret realm of 10,000 treasures, the founder wondered. Without even a second in the system, he made a choice. Yes, absorption. 
So much energy. He admired the effect of the artifact. For a fraction of a millisecond, it seemed as if he appeared, or rather, he was a flame, but it disappeared at that very second. Well, if you participate in the sect competition, you can go to the secret realm of 10,000 treasures. There are many ancient magical treasures and rare artifacts inside. Qin Weiwei happily shared information with her savior, and now the object of her nightly size. Sister Qin! The second girl tried to lead her friend away, so as not to fall under the hand of the enraged master. Oh, I know. The girl in love cast a glance at her friend, in whose gaze one could read prayer and regret. Lu watched the students, trying to figure out what they meant. Then Brother Cheng, I'll go. We'll talk later. The girl said goodbye and waved her thin, graceful hand goodbye. Fine, the founder agreed. The secret realm of 10,000 treasures? What kind of place is this that he has never heard of before? A hundred miles away from the falling sky sect, nature was raging. The sky was overcast. The thunderclaps threatened to deafen for some time any living creature in the perimeter of this place, and the lightning flashed, trying to set something on fire. For the past few weeks, Ching Yun and his ward have been causing a thunderstorm every seven days. The woman did not expect that the body of 10,000 tribulations would have such a powerful effect. Because you can only use it once a week. The founder explained to himself the reason for his amazement. This is very convenient for what I am going to ask you to do. The elder began. Ah, oh, you came such a long way to bring me here. What are you going to do? Without being distracted from improvement, Lu asked himself once again, only this time out loud. I want you to enter the 10,000 treasure secret realm and decipher the basic information. She finally explained her actions and what prompted her to act this way and why she saved him. Although it is possible given the fact that she has a fairly kind heart. If she had known about the danger that appeared over the founder, she would still have saved him. Basic information? Asked Lu. This area is not rich in spiritual energy, but in the surrounding area there are four small immortal cultivation sects that have been established over thousands of years. This is because there is an area isolated by the formation. Practitioners call it the secret realm of 10,000 treasures. Looking into the distance, the young lady seemed to be telling this to herself. The secret realm of 10,000 treasures is rich in resources and abundant in spiritual energy. But the internal formation is strong. She will instantly kill any cultivator who enters there. It was later discovered that every hundred years the power of this secret place weakens by one year. Cultivators below the level of Golden Dan can enter there, but only in a small group. There are four sects. Falling Cloud, Fu Ling Gate, White Jade House, Yuan Shui. We have agreed that every hundred years we will select students under the age of 30 to participate in the tournament. The 30 best will be able to enter the secret realm of 10,000 treasures for one year of training. Well, the story turned out to be short and informative. Then why did you come to me? You have a high level of development. I'm at the initial stage. How can I help? Lu still did not understand the actions of his curator. I have been a member of the Falling Cloud sect for over a hundred years, and I have tried everything. The 10,000 treasure secret realm pharmacy cannot be destroyed from the outside. Even inside it cannot be destroyed by conventional methods. But a few days ago I accidentally came across you in the sky. You have the body of 10,000 sorrows. You could hear from the elder's voice that such a find greatly pleased her and gave her hope. So what if I have a body of 10,000 sorrows? What does my body have to do with the formation? Cheng tried to put everything in its place. Do you know the purpose of the formation of the secret world? Gu asked her ward. To protect the treasure, the young man answered without even thinking. No, this is to isolate the world, the woman explained. What? Lu didn't fully understand what she said, and decided to ask again. Although inside himself, he guessed that she said everything correctly, and there were no problems with his hearing. He just did not expect such an answer. There are seven such formations created in different parts of the world. They serve as seven formation centers that isolate your world. This is the work of immortals. Therefore, heaven and earth cannot call upon the heavenly tribulation for thousands of years and no one can ascend. After such a speech, everything fell into place, and Lu's body of 10,000 sorrows can destroy this information. This is what attracted Gu to him, although the founder himself only silently digested what he heard. Did you just say, your world? He specifically emphasized the last two words in his voice rising from the Buddha pose. Judging by your tone, you are not a cultivator from our world? The young man suggested. That's all I can say. If you can help me, you can help your world. Without answering the above question, as if not hearing it, fearlessly standing on the edge of the cliff and looking straight down, she added, I hope that you can think carefully about whether you are ready to help me with all your might. 
After that, they returned home. Evening fell to the earth, leading the night by hand. Lou had already had dinner in his chambers all alone and was now sipping tea. The amount of information he received today is enormous, but if what she said is true, and Chin's necklace was found in the secret realm of 10,000 treasures, then going there would be a smart decision for Lou. Uh, let's take a step and see what I can do with my current strength. With these words, the young man opened the system. In three months, he accumulated 475 disaster points. However, he didn't think that with them, he could get past the middle stage of foundation building. He would soon have to face the tournament and the unknown in the secret world. Lu wondered if it was important to increase combat power by learning a new technique. He went into the store, thinking it was better to spend the immortal stones first. In an instant, various techniques, magical objects, artifacts and others appeared in front of him. The items, materials and cleaning tools here are all high-end items. Lu can't afford them. High-stage magic items are expensive, and cheap items are useless. But Chung can't create a magical treasure. He simply wouldn't be able to use even a tenth of the power of an Earth Stage magical treasure right now. It seems that now only technicians will help him. Fortunately, when buying equipment in the system, he does not need to waste time studying it, since information about them instantly appears in his mind. After searching for some time in the technique, after which I chose two techniques, the shaking of the soul of the heavenly cloud and also the secret of lightning, these techniques suited him. The secret of lightning when used with other lightning techniques can increase its power, same as my immortality sutra. Lu admired the new possibilities and pressed the buy button with his finger. Well, or buy it. The founder did not get up. It was the force passing through huge waves, one might even say a tsunami through his body, that forced him to buckle down. Lightning rained down from his eyes, as well as from his hands. Long story short, Lu just ended up inside a ball of lightning. After a short period of time, Lu managed to tame his energy. The table and chairs were lying overturned on the floor. The place under which the founder stood was cracked and his feet were in wooden planks up to his ankles. Within a radius of three to four meters, the tree acquired a dark color, as if it were not burning, but a body. The Ten Thousand Sorrows. Immortality Sutra uses lightning to stimulate the body and enhance speed and strength. The secret of lightning is to convert magical power into lightning and store it in the body for one-time release. The power will indeed be very powerful, but he thinks with his current cultivation, he will be able to use this once or twice a day, otherwise it will damage his foundation. This is the conclusion the founder came to. After all this, Chung went into the store again, because he noticed a magical weapon there, the Sword of Wind and Thunder. He wanted to check it another time. Huh? What is this? The emotion of joy about his personal growth was replaced by emotion, surprise, and wariness. This reaction was caused by the spiritual treasure, Mysterious Heavenly Divine Sword. The Heavenly Sword sells for just one stone. What does this erosion mean and why is there no information? Cheng didn't even know what to do. He began to look closely at it, trying to understand whether the weapon looked like a defective product. Its name resembles a high-end item, but why is it selling so cheap? But the young man did not feel sorry for one mortal stone. Wave your hand and the purchase is completed. And then this began. This barely purchased sword gradually began to emerge directly from the system screen. Soon he was hovering in the air opposite Lu, as if allowing himself to be examined. Is this the mysterious heavenly sword? I asked myself out loud. No, Lu of course understood that it was him. But somehow it all happened strangely, not like before. And now he is already reaching for the ball in order to take it by the handle and test the weapon. But then something clouded his consciousness, as if forcing his eyes to flatten for a while. When he opened them again, he did not understand where he was. It felt like his body was floating in a small universe. Well, in a small one, all he saw along the horizon were various stars and stones in the air. And above, and below, and to the right, and to the left, and in front and behind. It could be called a kind of space. Only there were no planets, and the stars were not stars, but peculiar sparks. After being perplexed for some time, he came to the conclusion that this was probably the inner space of the sword, after which he began a detailed examination of the small world. However, something else soon began to attract his attention. To his right was an exact copy of Lu. The same hair and eye color, the same facial features, physique, height, manner of movement. There was some kind of light smoke emanating around him, just a little, but enveloping him from head to toe. As soon as he realized that the founder had paid attention to him, he immediately hurried to greet him. Welcome, master. I have been waiting for this day for almost 10,000 years. At the same time he smiled, but his facial expression was not friendly. Rather, it was adorned with a wild grin. Uh, do you... do you look the same as me? 
he asked his double several times. After all, first you had to get used to it, and then communicate. You know, this is somewhat similar to when we talk to ourselves in the mirror, only now the reflection, regardless of your actions, performs any actions at its own discretion. Looks like you? Hey, let me introduce myself, Clone answered. I am a sword spirit, you can call me Shuan Tient. The fact that you can get here, he paused for a moment, means that I recognized you as a master, which is why I have such an appearance. In confirmation of his words, putting his right hand to his heart, he bowed to the guest, as if giving tribute and honor. Sword Spirit, did you recognize me as a master? The founder did not believe what he heard. Did he recognize me as his master the moment I bought the sword from the system? But even though his face looks like mine, he doesn't look like a nice guy at all, Lou thought. Even his double's skin was somehow pale, lifeless with a purple tint. That's right. I've been alone for 10,000 years and I've been waiting for this day. From now on, you are my master and I, Xuan Tian, will use my body as a sword to fight for my master. After that, he extended his hand to the young man to shake it, as if offering to legitimize their relationship for both of them. A magical weapon with a sword spirit? I've never heard of it and it sells for one immortal stone. Is this a systemic advantage? Lu was tormented by doubts in his soul. He looked at the outstretched hand with hesitation. But he is already accustomed to the fact that he has to agree to something with a small amount of information, and this time he did not change his methodology or habit. Your name is Sayun Tian, right? He brought his left hand behind his back, squeezing it, as if the uncertainty and doubts that did not want to interfere with his choice. The clone was already barely hiding his satisfied smile, or rather, a grin. Since you recognize me as your master, continued Lu, extending his hand in response, it seems that all this was more important for the double than for the founder himself, because he himself grabbed his guest's hand and clung to it as best he could. At this time, a devil's light flashed through his eyes. What? Lu didn't like it, and he hurried to pull his hand out, but it was too late. What are you doing? He demanded an explanation from Tian. Along his right hand, and then along the entire right side of his body, causing terrible pain, the smoke enveloping the double began to make its way through the guest's flesh, as if a dozen black ribbons were wrapped around the founder's torso. Gradually, he began to sag, unable to withstand such painful sensations. Ha ha ha! What am I doing? I said that I have been waiting for today for almost 10,000 years and will finally be free. I will finally get out of the sword and get a physical body. These are the goals Wan Tian pursued. And Lu, instead of listening to his intuition, shoved it somewhere else and now regretted it. You damn! Didn't you recognize me as your master? The young man began to lament. Ha ha ha! Recognized? You? Simple ant, do you want to be my master? Dream on! The ill-wisher rejoiced. Although I don't know how you, the snot with the foundation, got to me. But this body is not bad, so I will accept it willingly and gradually began to approach the suffering guy, as if the soul was penetrating its body. Luckily, Lu had a system that sent him an alert. The system has detected that Xuan Tian is trying to capture his master. Do you want to spend 300 points to cancel the capture? And as always, there are two answers. Yes and no. There was little time to think, so he immediately made a choice. As if a small child, who was promised a toy and was finally bought, and then taken away, left the body of the young man Tan. He had been waiting for this moment, lived this dream for centuries, and this is the result. The founder looked at him cautiously, making sure that he was at a sufficiently large distance from him. Everything started spinning, spinning, and then he appeared in the air of his room. He fell heavily to the floor, hitting his palms and knees painfully as he fell. As soon as he realized that he was not in the space inside the sword and he was finally home, he sighed with relief. Damn system! I knew something was wrong. I almost lost my body. He reproached himself for his carelessness. What did you just do? Someone's voice was heard inside Lu's consciousness, and these were not his thoughts. As it turned out, the surprises were not over. You are still in my body! Lu quickly stood up, examining himself and trying to find the place where this evil spirit had settled. Where else should I be if not in your body? What was it? How were you able to defend yourself from my attack? Xuan was indignant. Who are you? Like a magical treasure. How can you take over your master? From the outside, it seemed that Chung was talking to himself, but he knew that there was some kind of rubbish sitting inside him. Keiki, magical treasure. Are you comparing this piece of garbage to a great master? Tan was offended, even because he was put in the same line with some kind of weapon. Child, you are good enough to withstand my attack, but if I find another new chance, I won't fail again. He didn't promise, but threatened the young man, after which the castle. Lu just silently looked at his hands, 
thinking about what had happened, standing in the center of his room, as if he had just been in the center of an earthquake. Time passed, and the founder still couldn't let go of this situation. He did not gain any benefit from purchasing this mysterious heavenly sword, and it also cost him 300 points. What mistake? This was a good reason to be upset. He can only ask Gu about it. I wonder what she knows about the sword. After all, if Chung allowed this sword to remain in his body, it might cause problems, and that was not the young man's intention. Are you Lu Cheng? A man who suddenly appeared on the way asked the young man. Slamming his fan shut, the man who appeared before him repeated, I'm looking for him, is that you? A small smile did not leave his face. Standing behind him, Li Man did not take his eyes off his enemy. The founder confirmed his identity, after which he inquired in response to the special one who was looking for him. I am Feng Tianji, your elder brother from the Falling Cloud Intersect. I am also one of the disciples of the sex participating in the tournament. I heard that you and my brother Li had some problems yesterday. The man introduced himself. And at the same time I was interested in the relationship between his brother and the newly arrived student. Yes, so what? Lu answered. In general, he considered Li Man an adult, and therefore was inclined to the idea that if he had any complaints against him, then he should resolve them himself, and not call someone to help him, and silently stand on the sidelines. Well, I'm here to resolve the conflict between you. Everything went exactly as the founder expected. How to resolve? Cheng tried to find out directly. You see, my brother has been preparing for this tournament for more than ten years and this is extremely important for him. Feng waved his fan as if nothing had happened. If you join us, you will be my brother, and I hope that you will restore him to his place in the tournament. Now you and I are brothers, if you have any problems in the future. Lu himself didn't understand what Tianji was counting on. They fought for this place yesterday, and now he's trying to peacefully resolve their conflict? I will definitely. He probably wanted to say, I'll help you decide. But they didn't listen to him. I refuse. If you have nothing else to do, Please take care of yourself. The founder interrupted his older brother, passing by both of them. Lu Cheng, don't be so arrogant. Manu turned to face him with lightning speed, not in a hurry to end the conversation. If it weren't for the master's intervention yesterday, it's unclear who would have won or lost, said Ji Meng's son. The situation was heating up. Lu Cheng, you are new to the Falling Cloud sect, so you don't know my character. Don't think that I won't dare to touch you just because Elder Gu is supporting you. I hope that this issue could be resolved peacefully, but if you don't know your place... Feng tried to find the right words inside himself. What will you do? Closing his eyes and crossing his arms over his chest, the founder of the Heavenly Island decided to help him in an absolutely calm voice. Do you really want to die? Tianji looked at the newly arrived student with a frown, trying to put determination and courage into his gaze. I'm in a bad mood today. Don't bother me. After such a conversation, he was convinced that they had delusions of grandeur. Okay, Feng agreed. It looks like you really... With these words he pulled out, let's call it that way, long metal needles that serve as weapons from his palms, tired of life, and launched a hail of them at the young man, not regretting his action and not fearing punishment. Lu knew that they wouldn't just let him go, so he expected a trick, and when leaving he was absolutely ready for an attack. Concentrating, he collected in his right hand something like a small ball of lightning and threw it back exactly hitting the needles, so none of them achieved their goal. The weapon stuck into the wooden column supporting the floor and ceiling. Ilu's opponents did not expect such a brilliant reaction. I told you! Lu was striking small lightning bolts around his body, and it seemed as if the air around him was being electrified. Leave me alone! With a quiet threat in his voice, he asked the two. Then he left them behind, walking on his way. Brother, did you just let him go? Ran into the elderly. He just silently took his needles for himself, leaving holes with cracks on the post. I can't believe he blocked my low-ranking cloud-piercing needle so easily. This person's strength is not simple. He is an extraordinary foundation construction stage cultivator. If you had continued to fight him yesterday, you would definitely have lost. Feng came to the conclusion. But, Manu began to challenge him. Don't worry. I'm not saying I won't help you. I'm just saying that getting this position will be harder than I thought. He hastened to reassure the younger one. If we are going to do this, we must do it carefully. We need to find a good opportunity. He admonished himself and Li. Chin Weiwei sat in the lotus position on her bed, cultivating. At some point, she again remembered the events of the past, remembering the new, handsome guy and blushed a little. After some time, she came to her senses again. No matter how hard she tried, she could not stop admiring Lu and even reproached herself a little for it. What's going on? I've been thinking about him since last night and I can't even concentrate on my practice. The girl could not find a place for herself. 
Then from the door to her room I heard, Sister Chin, Sister Chin, but Wei Wei didn't seem to be waiting for anyone. What happened? She asked opening the door and seeing her excited friend. It's not good, Sister Chin. Xiao Tian from- What happened? She asked opening the door. What? The girl did not expect Tian's arrival again and was not happy about his appearance. Nephew Xiao, last time Wei Wei clearly rejected your good intentions, you. The elders gathered in the conference room, welcoming guests, but at the same time defending the rights of the student. Master Chin, began Xiao Tan, the son of the head of the White Jade sect, who was also in the middle stage of foundation construction. I love Sister Chin with all my heart. I came with great sincerity. No matter how hard he tried, it was sometimes clear that she was just another trophy for him, Elder Chen. He nodded towards the not quite elderly man standing behind him. He folded his hands in greeting and began, Master Chin, the White Jade House is not just here for my young master's wedding. We are also here to develop our two schools in the next hundred years. Here it was plainly clear that this was a marriage of convenience. He is the son of the head of the White Jade Elder. She is the daughter of the head of the Falling Cloud Elder. Why not a couple? Our four families have been in charge of this territory for a thousand years, but in recent centuries, our White Jade House has been ranked third in strength among the four families. Falling Cloud Sect is at the very bottom of the list, Elder Chen continued. But a trip to the secret kingdom of 10,000 treasures allows you to increase your strength. This will allow our students to significantly improve their development and increase their chances of entering the kingdom of Golden Dan. And the number of places to participate is also determined by the rating of the sect. He tried to convince the elders of the falling cloud sitting in front of him. They sat listening to their tempting, as the guys from the White Jade sect considered proposal. Compared to the Fuling sect, which has 40 people participating, we only have 20 people. And there are only 10 people from your sect. If this continues, our sects will never be able to recover. Elder Chen finished his speech. Then what do you think? Qin Ming Wan, the head of the Falling Clouds, asked, stroking his beard. My father is the head of the White Jade sect, so I came here to ask for marriage. I want to form an alliance against the other two sects, Xiao Tian blurted out proudly, although it sounded like a conspiracy. Ha <laughs> ha. What benefit will this union bring to our sect? The other two sects will target us even more. Now Jin Mang has also joined the conversation. This time, in addition to the list of items I brought, I am giving you a special gift from the White Jade sect. We'll give you five spots. Xiao Tan made his decision public. Or rather, the decision of his entire sect. Is this true? Mang almost jumped up from his throne because this was a great opportunity for Lu and his son to both go to the competition. I don't accept this! Wei Wei appeared at the door of the hall with her friend, and resolutely headed to the center of the hall in order to defend their rights. Brother Xiao, last time I made it clear that I have no problem with the alliance between the two sects. But please don't force me to take such a step, I can't be your partner. Qin explained the reason for her answer. Sister Chin, I'm not the same. Tian tried to say his words a little differently. Okay, nephew Xiao. Ming Wan tried to calm him down. 